Good morning, everyone. Welcome one, welcome all to another edition of Ill-Fated Gaming Plays. I am your host, Red Mage Joe. Thank you all for joining me a bit earlier than perhaps you had intended to. Uh, sorry, we still haven't gotten rid of this stupid fucking daylight savings time thing here stateside, but I appreciate all of you uh, adjusting your schedules to join me. Uh, I guess maybe I threw off Goober and uh, CP5670 with the time shift, so no sign of them, but Prophet of Ovon is here joining me. How are you doing today, Ovon? <laughs> Even in space, daylight savings makes me scream. <laughs> you sound, you dragged yourself in here, sound like you pulled yourself out of bed. I'm very, very sorry that the time shift is hitting you so hard but yeah, it always does but it's fine oh man well let's see who we got in here today sebastian link made again hey sebastian glad to have you uh darius glad <laughs> i remember being a little off in the time shift told people at first it was later and then i was like oh wait it's actually earlier in bros or you're like man i can't stay up till until 6 a.m. watching your goddamn stream, but midnight, midnight is okay, so I'm glad you could make it. Glad you could make it, Darius. Uh, who else we got here? Orpheus is here. Guten Abend. How's it going? How's it going? Let's see. Colt is here. How you doing, Colt? Glad to see everyone's got their beer ready for today's stream. That's what I like to see. Wand Crawler, good day. How are you doing, my guy? Cult says, glad I can't unintentionally kill the text speech yet. Please don't ab abuse my text to speech. Time is irrelevant, especially in space. Ah, but you see it's all part of the tapestry of the time, sp the space-time continuum. And Colt woke up earlier than he usually wakes up to catch this. I'm so happy that this stream is so important to you that you deprive yourself of sleep. I didn't get a lot of sleep myself. The time shift kind of threw me off and I, I was like a little out of sorts uh, before going down for the night. So I'm a bit tired. I had to get up. I had to get up early to do something in World of Warcraft too. So... And I'm gonna have to do it again next week because apparently I just have shit luck. But I'm glad you could all make it. I'm glad you could all make a time shift. I see this will come to my time zone too. I believe in two weeks. Oh god, daylight savings isn't even fucking synchronized. Holy shit, that's just that's extra headache. God, why can't we get rid of this stupid, unnecessary fucking paradigm? Oh, I hate it. Oh, was what's, what's I would love for it to be jettisoned out the airlock, please. Oh God, yes. Oh, I see people talking about between the ashes. Between the ashes, awesome. Looking forward to part two. Oh yeah, I'm super hyped about part two. Uh, oh yeah. I'm uh, God. I love between the ashes. I'm glad you enjoyed the the watch of the between the ashes, Sebastian. Uh, meanwhile, Newfoundland's time zone is a half hour after next one. How does that even make any sense? Why is that a thing? Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Man, I was told that Congress voted sometime last year to get rid of daylight savings starting this year, and then it got held up in red tape, and I was like, God damn it, just get rid of it! I'm so sick of this twice a goddamn year! Oh! CP5670 uh, oh, connected. Oh shit! CP made it! Oh! Where is it? Where is that lad? Where is he? CP5 there he is. Hey, you channel. made it. How's it going, CP? We were just talking about you. Glad you could make it, my guy. Sorry if the time shift threw you off a little bit. How are you doing? Let me make sure I give you... I need to make sure I give you proper uh, voice privs in case I haven't already. Uh... Orpheus says, you'd be more hyped if you'd seen MJN taking on feature requests left and right. Feature request FSO. Ooh, so, so BTA 2 is going to be even more souped up than I initially imagined. Uh, yes, we're using TeamSpeak, Sebastian. How could you tell? <laughs> I don't know if CP can hear me. You there, CP? Not, not hearing anything from you, my dude. Uh, yeah, I can hear you fine. Hey! How's it going, my guy? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was a little, was a little, uh... I'm doing well. A little brain fuzzy, uh, 
last night when I put up the post about it's like, all right, guys, don't forget the stream's an hour later. And then like, as I was starting to pass out, I went, wait, and my eyes shot wide open. I was like, wait, no, that's wrong. And I had to rush to correct that on several platforms. I was like, oh shit, I just told people to be two hours late to my goddamn stream. Oh, hey, Firestorm, glad you could make it. Yes, fuck daylight savings, dude. God, oh, got a headache from that. Oh, I will be so happy if we, we, we as a, as a global society just remove it forever. Uh, all right, so I've, I've meandered about uh, enough. Let's see, news, news. Uh, free space update news. Uh, Procyon Insurgency actually got an update, which is convenient, because that's what we're playing today. CP, you want to tell me uh, what was updated? <laughs> so I know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> so I saw yeah, some people uh, noticed a bug with one of the later missions. So, not when I played so yet. So incompatibility was one of the BDVP updates. Ah, all right. So that's been addressed. So that's good. Secret Joe proof update, Colts. Yeah, I don't don't know if you've been following my series that long, CP. But um, I have a tendency. <laughs> I have a tendency to inspire uh, uh, fretters to go back and uh, Joe proof their <laughs> campaigns and missions because <laughs> I'll always end up doing something <laughs> no one else thinks of. I was like, what would happen if I touched this and then the whole thing breaks? I'm like, oh. Well, okay then. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that guy who just. The biggest issue with this campaign is actually <laughs> media VPs. Is it really? Uh, just because of the 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 age, I take it. The age of the. Or wait, yeah. Yeah, the... it's like I mean, they they introduce some update that breaks some other thing. That happens all the time. And, uh, it's like in this case, it was actually there was the MV effects like the. The weapon effects. So there was a there was a table file that replaced everything from the campaign because of the way the game um, uses the media VP files. I mean, they prioritize right. those files over the campaign files. Right, right, right. So uh, a bunch of things were breaking because of that. Oh, I'm missing things in chat. Did Spartan ask? Did you ever see the clip I sent for BTA? No, I've got it in I've got it in Steam, but when I I read minor spoilers, so I was like, maybe I'll maybe I'll check that. A little later, but uh, I will I will check that before the end of the day. I promise, Spartan. Also, thank you for dropping by, Spartan. Shivan SPS. Hello, how are you doing, my guy? Glad you could make it. Sorry, uh, sorry if you had to push things aside to make the stream today, but uh, I definitely appreciate everyone who showed up today. Um, besides the Procyon Insurgency update, apparently there was a new path update. Now I'm curious about that. I don't know if that was a compatibility thing or if something was bug fixed or changed, but uh, I very fondly remember new path. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to revisit that at some point. That was such, that was such an amazing experience. When I first saw that FMV, the, the news report thing, my mind <laughs> was blown. Oh, yeah. oh boy. What is this? Not quite correct wand color, just inside when to fly it. What's this? Uh, Vote stay on daylight savings all year. Ugh. Why though? Why, 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 would you, why would you opt to permanently adopt time shift? Just, just baseline. Ugh, but that's, okay, that's the, the developer in me. Anyway, uh, other updates, other updates. Let's see. Uh, still waiting to get that uh, Procyon Insurgency splash. So again, apologize for the generic... Uh, free space uh, media VPs background but hopefully hopefully we'll get that before too long people got lives so you know that's way more important um but 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 uh, one other thing oh yeah before I get on to the show he actually uh, has that ready does he can I like can can I can, can we like nudge him I can like put it up yeah, right he now sent it to me. oh I don't know if he sent it to you I don't have anything from anyone so if you want to hook me up yeah yeah pass it to me I'll, I'll put it up right now in fact I can do that hold on I'll I will even go to the the YouTube studio we'll we'll show off his fancy work for everyone to see right here live where is my content there it is. Uh, you can throw it in a link, or I don't know if you want to send it on the forum or what, but however you can get it to me. Uh, how does... If you... Do you have a link, like, uh, 
Or is it something that you have locally? Uh -huh. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, thumbnail. I will adjust that. Curious vision intensifies. Yes. If you have, if you have a link to like an online repo, you can just throw it here in Teamspeak, and I'll grab it. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, if it's local, I can throw you an email address, and you can email it to me. Uh. Anyway, while he's working on that, uh, I had one uh non. Yeah, I have a link. Oh. One moment. I had one free space unrelated thing uh, I wanted to share for those of you who watch my other content on this channel may have noticed I did a barely barely conscious uh, WoW stream last night. The WoW server I play on just broke its population record of 4,500 people on simultaneously today. Super thrilled about that. It is blowing up. So if you've ever been interested in checking out like uh, old school, old school World of Warcraft with uh, custom content, definitely check out uh, some of my other videos where I advertise the server. All right, what do we got here? Link. Link, link, link. Let's grab this. Da, 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 da. Ooh, fancy. Uh, wait, hold on. Are these constrained? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me get the one that doesn't have the constrained dimensions in the name. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's sexy. Hold on. Hold up. Yeah, I got to put that up. I absolutely got to put that up. That looks good. Uh, save this somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put this in the right place before I put it up, otherwise the next time I try to put it up on stream, it'll just vanish. Where is it? Where is it? Come to me! There we are. Okay. Put this on stream. Actually, I'll add it to the thumbnail right quick. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference uh, until later when it processes, but... Come on. Minor technical difficulties, please bear with us. Procyon Insurgency. Oh, there we go. Put that in the thumbnail. Yeah! Yeah! That looks nice! Uh, let's slap that bad boy on the... Slap that bad boy on the stream. One sec. How did I do this again? How the hell do I do this again? Uh... Edit sort? Oh, edit source. Yes. Uh, loading screen. Here, hold on a sec. Let me... Just so I don't accidentally break something, let me hide that real quick. One moment. Uh-huh. Done. And... Stretch to screen. And... Where'd it go? Where the hell we go? Boy! The fuck did you go? Did I break it? Hold on a sec. Mm. Why is it not showing up? <laughs> this is very strange. Is it because I because I hit it and then I like un it, it, it. Now it's just not showing the source at all. Hold on a sec. Let me try moving this. Let me move this down. Yeah, it's just straight up not. All right. Well, we have a new we have a new solution to that. It's called delete this fucking source and add a new goddamn source. How about that? Have that fucking attitude. <laughs> have that fucking attitude. Why don't you? Let's see. Loading screen, loading screen, loading screen. Did I get... Oh, yeah. I had to get rid of it. Loading screen. Unload image when not showing. Procyon. Yeah! There we go! There we go! Check that! Ain't that party! And who, who do we have to thank for this beautiful splash, my guy? Who, who is the, the fu I think it were, there was a Gwyn and a Durandal. So this was done by Goober and Durandal. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I love it. 
This is yeah. this is everything I could ask for. Actually, they they reproduced the logo and the that star from scratch. Nice. I, mean, I didn't have the original masters files for ah, those things that always, I made back in the day. Always bummer so, when that happens. Yeah. Um, and the ones I had were kind of low resolution, so they wanted. To <laughs> yeah, because you made it, it back scratch. in you made it back in 2007, didn't you? I mean, like shit. Fuck, what 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 resolution was what was what was a big deal back then? More like two thousand one or two. Ten twenty-four by seven sixty-eight, baby! I remember that being my Good old days. I remember that being right. my, my Actually that star, I had it in six forty by four eighty. Oh and nice. I thought it looked really decent. Oh man. Oh god, 640 by 480. Now I'm just I'm imagining some of those really old games I played full screen 640 by 480. Man oh man, guess marathon wasn't fulfilling enough for good old Durandal. Oh. What is this? Oh man. Oh god, see maybe I should have text speech on during these chat is blowing up. Uh da -da 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 -da. Okay, Spartan says, appealing nostalgic viewers by having technical difficulties in the beginning of stream. Hey, man, Spar Spartan knows what it Spartan knows where it's at, man. What? How many goddamn of my early streams I have something go wrong that I spent like the first five to ten minutes fixing shit? Oh, but yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it. So, Goober Durandal, amazing work. I love it. I love it. All right. Now, without further ado, I've got all the news out of the way. Everyone's gathered here. Ova and CP are here. Goober will catch up, I'm sure, or he's he's a busy bee. Goober's a busy, busy bee, so if he doesn't make it, it's all good. We're going to... It's not a bug, but a feature. What, what is? Where Joe will get to that mission on the thumbnail on the stream. See, now you have me concerned when you say shit like that. Let's fire... Let's fire this up. Let's quiet the Aquitaine music. FSO is launching. What? Oh, there we go. Uh. Hmm. Why is? Oh, there we go. Took it a second. All right. Let's get right into. It. Oh God, not right now. Don't sneeze. Oh, don't do that. That would be bad. Okay. Let's return, return to the fray. So last time, I only got through like what, the fourth mission or something last time? I believe so, mission four or five. <laughs> Man, this this campaign kicks my ass. <laughs> Message content sensor due to potential spoilers. Well, no, yeah, no spoilers, please. Bug feature in regards to the tech difficulties start of the stream, yeah. What we call, we'll call that a an IFG stream feature, sure. All right. Hey, Paladin, how's it going, dude? Glad you could make it. Oh, we got 15 people on board for this. Ah, here, right, the upside down Triforce. I'm ready for this. Right. Ah, oh, sweet, the day after Christmas. <laughs> we having wars here. This is Lieutenant Commander Polhatu, leader of the 161st Squadron GVD Sakam. The 161st is a multi-purpose heavy fighter unit. Ooh, heavy fighter unit. And our ships of choice are therefore the Seth and the Torret. While the Torret has taken over as our primary fighter, refurbished Seth-class fighters are still in use and our pilots have the choice of flying either ship during our missions. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a Torret, my guy. Actually, wait, let me see if I remember what the Seth is. Oh, that thing, yeah, no thanks. I'd much rather, I, I think I'd much rather fight the turret. At 0810 today, the Sixth Fleet initiated an attack on a major PCA fortification near the Epsilon Pegasi jump node. 20 minutes later, the 15th Battle Group mounted an offensive from the opposite direction. So far, we have destroyed the PCC, oh boy, PCC Urthikau, the PCC Oh, God damn it, really? D's and O's next to each other? Ogduad and the PCCV Aket. Our plan is to conduct rapid strikes on key installations and cut off enemy supply lines, which will enable us to isolate and destroy the PCA warships. Oh, Ian Baker made it. Hello, hello. <laughs> Boxing Day Massacre, nice. Yeah, this revelation. This is such an intense track. Like, I feel like shit's gonna get real every time I hear this. Uh, there's zero reason to use a Seth when you have a turret, right? <laughs> like, why would you? Hey, Pobaxi, glad you could make it. <clears throat> Without gun convergence with Seth, 
without Seth can carry the max, in my recall, while the Tard can out. Mm, without gun convergence, with Seth has the better primary placement, but the Tord is d a damn missile boat. Yeah. Hey, Nick Teus, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yes, we are playing Procyon Insurgency, and we have the legend behind Procyon himself here in chat, CP5670. He's uh, <laughs> he's guiding me through his 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 uh campaign of suffering <laughs> oh my god oh has, did Nick did Nick not see my previous uh, my previous stream you should check last week's dude we've you've already had you've already missed plenty of uh, rage screaming but that's okay it's a good rage screaming it's it's good difficulty it's difficulty that challenges me it's difficulty that I approve of uh, Torrid is tankier in the Seth all right I'll keep that in mind all right. Intelligence has spotted a large convoy in this sector, comprised of numerous freighters, gas miners, and other supply vessels. Command believes that, among other things, the enemy will use these ships to restock the PCD Apophis, one of the two hostile destroyers in this system. The ships are heading for a rendezvous point in the system where they will attempt to recharge their subspace drives. Aye, aye. Yep. A convoy raid. Two wings from the 161st will be sent in to intercept and destroy the convoy at the rallying point. Intrasystem jump drives on smaller freighters typically take around a minute to recharge, with the amount of time required increasing roughly linearly with the mass of the ship. We must take out as many ships as we can before they escape from the area. Oh, I already know where this is going to go. My 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 perfectionism is going to give me an ulcer, and it's not remotely feasible to destroy all of them uh, without pulling some shenanigans. I, I feel it. And you said, you said Maxim. You mentioned Maxims. I feel like that's going to be important here. Uh, disabling the engine or navigation subsystems on these ships will also prevent their departure. Yeah, well, no shit. But the question is, are their engines, are their engines as tanky as they are? Because at that point, I might as well just blow them the fuck up. You don't know what a bad gun placement is until you fly in Osiris. <laughs> God, those things are just goddamn plates with the fucking guns on the the outer one third of its circumference. Uh, use the missile banks. Use the boost to get through. Yeah, I'm gonna load up lots of uh, anti freighter stuff. The GVC Kepren and the GVC my oh. The GVC Mycerinus are standing by and will be deployed in the event that we encounter stiff resistance. The Admiral has said that we must destroy at least 80% of the convoy in order to deal a successful blow to the enemy, but a ratio of 90% or higher would be optimal. Joe's gonna try for 100%. We're gonna spend the next hour and a half on this mission. Call it, call it in chat right now. Place your bets. That is all pilots, we will leave for the mission in one hour. Oh boy, okay. So what do I have available? I don't even my my brother in Christ. I, I don't. It's not even like I have the option to have everyone rolling Seth for. Okay, you said Maxims. Wait, am I? Oh fuck me! I'm beta one. Oh shit. Okay. Oh god, why did you have to be right? Why have you done this to me? Oh, okay. Ah, Jesus, okay. Oh, right. The non 3D doesn't the show me the gun placements. The work is that you dive bomb those freighters with infernos. Dive bomb them with infernos? Are you kidding me? Infernos like a, like a. Oh God, bomb the clusters. <laughs> <laughs> just, just dump clusters on them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're savage. You could just treat it like a shotgun blast at that point, right? Uh, question: Is this, is this vanilla, modified vanilla, or Fury AI? I don't remember. It's vanilla AI, but it sometimes behaves like Fury AI. On the is, you're using. Is, that, is that sometimes involve the trebuchet fix? It doesn't involve. Yeah, the, the trebuchet should be fixed in this. Really now? Mmm. Mmm. Paladin's like, yeah, but will it use trebs? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, don't have. Don't have access to that, so I'm gonna have you guys doing 
primarily Vulcans. Uh, I don't know what the gun placement is on these. Which is which is where? Someone, <laughs> someone tell me. Uh, I don't know. The but, second one is the quad bank. Yeah, but I mean, like, where is it on the models? On these little tines, or is it towards the center of the? Hmm. Whatever do I have? It's kind of in the middle. I think, like, with these, it's, um... The gun placement is not great. I mean, you need to be somewhat far away from the... From the enemy to hit it. I've decided we're gonna the do Seth our is best. Better in that respect. Let's see... I feel like I should just do... Oh, wait, no. If I do double maxims, I'm gonna be fucked when dealing with... Okay, you have you have a fighter and you have a disable. I need to have a fighter and I need to have a damage. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. oh boy! Wait, how many of those can I carry? That's not a lot. Is the convoy? You could try taking a turret, and you can carry more of them. That's true. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh shit! Oh, I can't even carry that. Oh, uh, maybe. Ugh. I might try this first and see how it goes. But um, how how tightly clustered is the convoy that you were suggesting using the inferno? You were talking about dumping an inferno on one thing, right? You were talking about actually using the cluster capabilities. I'm assuming. You know what? We're gonna give it a try. Well, the cluster takes out. I mean, you you want to dump one on one thing. Hmm. I'm gonna give this a try. It's not like I can't go back and and redo my. Uh... So the cluster is all attack this, or like all hit the same target. All right, let's. At least one ship hasn't. Wait, what? I beg your fucking pardon? Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh God damn it! Okay. All right, fine, 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 fine. How many does that give me? Here, I'll do the cluster thing. You guys do the. You guys do the treb thing. Wasn't there this feature in the game that let you set the loadout for all the entire wing at once? I, yeah, that's up here, but I mean, I, I don't have enough supplies to rely on that. Okay. Cluster fuck the freighters. Yeah, let's go. This is Alpha 2. Now setting course for the computer generated marker. Oh, right. I have that really quiet because. Affirmative. Because the, <laughs> the mission victory music is terribly loud. Just remind me before I jump out to what the hell? Oh. Okay. All right. Oh god, that spread. Why? At least the maximum on the close one will hopefully work better. I am flying towards the thing, right? I mean, that's the only thing. Oh, there Attention. we go. Pilots. We are detecting the first wave of the supply convoy on sensors. I think I turned that nav buoy into like Three a hot element, but that's what it's supposed are now to be. Entering the area. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, those are tanky boys. The Maxim's using that because it looks better. I always hated the one in the media PP, and I think they're going to change it at some point, but it hadn't happened the last time I changed, looked into this. See that gun? Just a one inferno on that. Oh, I get you, I get you. Oh! Oh! Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Whoa. Come back here, you. Hey, friend. Definitely acting like Fury right now. 
We are reading two status class freighters and two troop transports. Troop transport's bad. Troop transport's very bad. Okay. Hello, friend. Oh, holy shit! Wow, that is quite potent. That's some good damage. Shit. Good ones. Yeah. Let everyone take care of that and I'll dump on this fucker. Oh, oh shit, I fucking got myself killed! Oh no! Those hurt! <laughs> <laughs> oh sh Oh god. Oh shit. Do I have them? No. Oh shit. Come on. Oh god. Okay. Sorry, I got a board. You're being shot at. No. No. God damn it. Oh. No. Oh damn it. Okay, that was my fault. That was that was that's what I get for Eating a bomb to the face, but I I I I understand where you're going with the design on this now. The PCC Renvin has entered the area along with more freighters and a gas miner. We will oh, dispatch shit. Delta Wing to deal with the cruiser. Affirmative. Yeah, cover my ass for a second. Is that thing dead already? Oh, that cruiser is gone. All right. Get the hell out of here. This is... Ah! No! Don't get out of my way, bro! What is this? A cruiser? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! That's a cruiser! It is guarding an enemy wax vessel. Requesting orders. Command. The jamming equipment on the east is blocking all outside transmissions. Beta, take out that vessel immediately. Delta, focus on the cruiser. Attack on your target. Ah, get rid of this fucking thing. sensor data from that area for the last minute. What is the situation? The PCA had entered the area that, that was the probable cause of the interference. That hit hard. We were able to take it out of commission. Intelligence had placed this ship elsewhere in the system. It must have eluded us. Keep a lookout for any other Damn unexpected it. vessels. Pilots. Who's shooting at me? Who's trying to shoot at me? Go away. Attack on your target. All right, we'll just jump in now. Man, these things really want me dead. Hello, friend. God, I love that sound. I cannot tell you how much I love that sound. Alright. Is the Merit still here causing problems? I'm about to deal I'm about to deal with that myself. 
God damn it. Come on, Delta. Do what you get paid to do. Do what you get paid to do. Fuckers. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. I think not, friend. I saw you accelerating. You thought you were leaving. You were wrong. Wow. There is no escape. Delta wanted him dead too, but their bombs were not going to get there in time. Now what? The final wave of the convoy oh, is now Jesus. jumping Come in. on. We are detecting extremely high energy signals from your immediate vicinity. The hell is that? Provide a status update, pilots. A PCA Triton class freighter has arrived and is hauling a strange cargo container. My uh, sensors recognize it bomb? as a messin' bomb. Impossible. Confirm your previous statement, Alpha 4. Uh oh. Confirm. My fighters on board computer identifies it to be a mess in bomb container. Oh! Pilots, you now have boy. a new objective. We must retrieve that mess in bomb and determine how they came into its possession. This Recover the Mason, got it. Not attack the cargo. Ah, shit! We Ow, get off my ass! Get off my ass! That container out of the area. Command. I see energy surges emanating from the cargo. Oh fuck! The device appears to be exploding. What? The bomb has been activated. Move Run. away from it immediately. Run the you fuck must away! Be three kilometers away to survive the blast of a message. Oh bomb. shit! Oh shit! No! God damn it! Oh jeez! I wasn't going towards us trying to get away from it, okay? Oh, well, at least now I can try to get that, uh, that, that runaway this time. Holy shit. Oh, I hauled ass. I dumped everything into engines, too. So why, so wait, did it go off because I blew up the Triton with a cluster? Did I accidentally trigger it? Or is it supposed no, to do that? it was that? taking damage beforehand, it looked like. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, no shit, Paladin. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed. Okay, so there was no avoiding that. If they think you'll get it, they just now setting course it. for the computer. Rude! <laughs> What's this they business? Don't act like you didn't fucking program it. <laughs> this is they nonsense. Who's they? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, so you have Alpha Wing. Who's gonna cover me? Attention, pilots. We are detecting the first wave of the supply convoy on sensors. Three freighters with fighter escort are now entering the area. Get off my ass! You're supposed to be covering me. What the fuck's going on here? I told you fuckers to cover me. God damn! Okay, asshole. 
I'm tired of you. More supply ships incoming. We are reading two status class freighters and two troop transports. Yeah, you were right, these infernos work well. I did. God damn. Holy shit. Oh, I don't really like the, the gun placement on this thing when I'm trying to fight these fuckers. and a gas miner. We will dispatch Delta Wing to deal with the cruiser. Ow! the Akaru. Oh. And away he goes. Who the fuck's still shooting me? Fuck off. Fuck out of here. Your nonsense. Doc, Doc already, please. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, sir. Oh my god, the Inferno. Right, I gave Infernos to other people. What a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Another cruiser has entered the area. It is guarding an enemy wax vessel. Requesting orders, command. The jamming equipment on the ISTs is blocking all outside transmissions. Beta, take out that vessel immediately. Delta, focus on the cruiser. Where, where, where? We have not this been one. receiving any long-range sensor data from that area for the last minute. What is uh, the well, that was a waste of a treb. The PCA oh well, made me feel better. And was the probable cause of the interference. It was the effort we were able to take it out of commission. In now what? had placed this ship elsewhere in the system. It must have eluded us. Keep a lookout for any other unexpected vessels, pilots. The final wave of not the gonna touch that right now. In. We are detecting extremely high energy signals from your immediate vicinity. Provide a status update, pilots. A PCA Triton class freighter has arrived and is hauling a strange cargo container. My sensors recognize it as a mess and bomb. Impossible. Confirm your previous statement, Alpha 4. Confirm. My fighter's onboard computer identifies it to be a mess and bomb container. Pilots, you now have a new objective. We must retrieve that mess and bomb and determine how they came into its possession. Destroy the freighter but do not attack oh the cargo. 
We will deploy a recovery ship to haul that container out of the area. Command. Oh I shit! Energy surges oh. emanating from the cargo. The device appears to be exploding. Yep, the time bomb to go. has been activated. Move away Not from ready. it immediately. You must be at least three kilometers away to survive the blast of a messin' bomb. I can't tell them to go home. You're all fucked. We will destroy your target. God. Oh God! Oh Lord! Wait, was that? There's nothing more we can do out here. I think it's done. Oh. I don't you know how did a fine job of far away I was, but... Convoy. Return to the do we get all of it? I think we got all of it. Yeah. I, I do believe. I do, I do, I do believe. Well, thank you for that hint about the uh, Inferno. Inferno is pretty uh, ridiculous for blowing up cruisers and transports. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh... Yeah, how did the wingmen survive? <laughs> what, what the hell are they made of? <laughs> Don't forget the voice thing. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Lieutenant Junior Grade. Oh, no, uh... <coughs> no Petrarch clone. <laughs> the appearance of the PCA Nissan Antimatter Warhead is a... What the hell's that sound? Oi. The appearance of the PCA Misan antimatter warhead is a troubling development. The original Misan project was conducted in the highest secrecy in Vega a year ago, and the results were classified at the maximum level. Omega. This suggests that either the GTVA contains high-level operatives working for the enemy, or that PCA scientists have been able to replicate the technology on their own. Either way, this cannot bode well for the Alliance. I love this music, by the way. Command has also classified this incident at level Sigma, and we are not to speak of it with anyone else. We suspect that a Terran Triton class freighter was imported from Procyon and used rather than a sat Satis or Bess due to its ability to move much heavier loads. The PCA evidently activated the bomb when it seemed like it might fall into our hands. What the intended purpose of the bomb was remains unknown. Nevertheless, our performance in neutralizing the convoy was nothing short of exceptional. Every single PCA supply vessel, yeah, was destroyed and the Admiral sent our squadron a personal message of congratulations. Despite our victory, however, the battle for Adhara continues to rage on. The GTVA is fighting hostile forces in multiple locations in the system, and the Admiral has put the 161st on standby in the event of an emergency. Expecting our mission in the next few days. Aye aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> uh, you didn't scan the bomb, so you didn't get everything. What? I can't believe. So there's that. a mechanic in this campaign that uh, it shows you like a HUD gauge of like a plus one or plus two when you achieve objectives, uh -huh. which is kind of like a separate bonus system, and it gives you a score at the end of the campaign. But at some point, the free space builds broke that feature. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. So it doesn't. So it doesn't really matter here. <laughs> Man, Paladin over there. Oh, yeah. Pal Paladin over there was like, hey man. It's like, hey man, you didn't scan the bomb. Like, Paladin, don't fucking make me come over there. I, I did pretty damn well that time, alright? At least I know it would have been possible to do it. I just also probably would have uh, gotten myself blown up. Defiance of Fate. Okay, what are we doing here? As you know, the situation in Adhara has effectively reached a stalemate. Our forces have inflicted substantial damage upon the enemy, but we have taken equally heavy losses. Several units in the 6th and the 15th have been destroyed by the PCA, and more casualties will occur if the situation keeps up. Womp womp womp. Yeah, Paladin, I don't think you saw how how quickly that uh, Triton took damage, even when I just fired Maxims at it. I don't think disabling it's an option. And as, uh... As C CPRA pointed out, that bomb's supposed to explode regardless, so... Uh... Yeah, that was not, uh... That was not, uh... Fantastic. To blow up Triton, Misan bomb activated. <laughs> Fucking bail! Fucking bail! What? Why we- why we have a Typhon? God damn it! And Spartan can't believe that the Inferno is getting any kind of credit in a free space campaign. How does that make you feel, CP? Do you think you did a good job then with 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 uh, giving niches to weapons? <laughs> That's what they created the cluster bombs for: erasing freighters, transports, and even small cruisers. That's what they created the cluster bombs. 
That's, that's quite a delay. They're they're useless for their original purpose. I mean, has what? anyone actually taken out a bomber wing with that? One that time works. in all of the but time I've played this. this game. A singular time. At 1740, we received an emergency distress call from the GVD Deshret, the secondary destroyer of the 15th Battle Group. The warship was being resupplied after a successful confrontation against PCA forces when it came under attack by the PCCV Am Amasis. Am I can't read that. Amasis. The PCC Mentor and several fighter and bomber wings. The Deshret's engines were crippled in the fight, and the destroyer is now stranded in a contested area. I will point out, though, the only reason that worked is because I was near the jump point where there's that couple seconds delay before the AI activates as a wing is jumping out and I just dumped the clusters on top of them and wiped out the bomber wing but I couldn't reliably do that because I couldn't like predict where their jump in points were I just happened to be like about a thousand meters away from where they jumped in I was like I bet I could dump one of these right now feel like an hour of my life has been sucked away. Hey, Warlock, you sorry. Hey, man, there's nothing I can do about that, okay? I don't make the rules, all right? I just, I just, I just turn my clocks when people tell me to. Uh... Vice Admiral Tor of the Deshret report said although his gunners and bomber wings took out both of the enemy warships, the Deshret sustained significant damage in the encounter. Enemy wings continue to bombard the vessel. Oh, fuck me. Continue to bombard the vessel repeatedly, and we are in danger of losing the ship. Admiral Messerut has ordered our squadron to head for and assist the Deshret at once. Oh, so the Deshret's getting aquatanked. Got it. The Deshret's getting fucking sekmeted. Oh, God. The worst thing to fight against. There's very, I feel like there's very few uh, missions in any of the campaigns I've played where you get to fly a Sekhmet, but when you do, it's basically like being given fucking god mode. Goddamn, goddamn heavy bombers that maneuver like <laughs> fucking Myrmidons. There are plenty of them in this one. Oh. Later on. Ooh. In order to get the ship's engines back online, we will need to conduct repairs in the field. A transport with the necessary components is on its way as we speak. Your objectives are to defend the Deshret from Confederal bombers and to protect the transport while it transfers the replacement materials. Note that both fighter bays on the Deshret have been incapacitated, so additional fighter support will be limited. Ugh. So I gotta protect the Deshret and I gotta protect the damn... What are you? The hell is this thing? The fuck is that orange looking thing is this a is that a redone mod that's a reskin mod what the i was saying what the hell happened here it's a mod that they turned into a transport because the students needed a transport in there wait like did, a small transport and there wasn't one back then the students wait is there not a small vasoon transport wait i'm left I mean, there's the ISIS, but that's like tiny. That's like fighter size. Yeah, that was more equivalent to the Poseidon one. Then. Right, right. Yeah, more of more of the shuttle. Yeah, you're right. Poor Warlock just got here. Hey, I recall in the main campaign they actually used the Argo as a bassoon ship in one mission. Oh there yeah, was no that's, that's true because they don't have a bassoon equivalent. Once the Deshret's engines are restored, you are to defend the warship as it recharges its subspace drives. This mission will be considered a success once the Deshret leaves the area. Our victories over the PCA during the last three days will come to nothing if we lose the Deshret. See to it that the destroyer makes it out intact, pilots. Aye, aye, Captain. What are you giving me? Okay, now I'm flying these. All right, so I'm dealing with fighter and bomber wings and not cap ships, so... Oh my god, that's that's really distracting. This is like a straight-up intercept mission, so trebuchet and thunder. Way to go. Uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. Sure. Morning Star, lol, Morning Star. How about instead of that? How about instead of that? Let's see. Do I even have access to? I do not. Okay. Uh, mm, in that case, I'm not averse to uh, utilizing this. Honestly, let's try that out. All right, and you fuckers. I'm just gonna have you do what you do best, which is 
you can't carry many trebs, so I'm just gonna have you I'm just gonna load you guys up with these. There you go. There you go, Spanky. Let's roll. Alright. Team speak recoil due to someone has voice activation separate speaker. No, I think it's he's he's listening to the uh He's talking to me in TeamSpeak, but he's also got the stream not muted, so that's where that's happening. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this loadout. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. This is Alpha Wing of the 161st uh. Fighter Squadron, GBDC. So All right. What is your status? Bombers, bombers, bombers. Pilots. Alpha, the district has taken moderate damage. Rebel bomber wings have been staging attack runs regularly. The Arnu is expected to arrive in four minutes. Reading hostile indicators. Yeah, yeah, you are. Let's go, fuckers. Oh god, there's more of you. Oh shit. Oh I Oh I fucking kicked the hornet's nest. Oh I super kicked the hornet's nest. Break you fuckers up so you get off my ass. Oh shit! Oh god, you have anti-fighter missiles. Jesus. Alright then. That was painful. Okay, next time I'm just gonna double fire. Oh, there they are. I don't like the, uh... The hell are... Oh, really? Okay. Don't you shoot at me in that tone of voice, you fucker. Oh, God damn it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Where'd you go? Hello, friend. Takes, oh my god, more of you! Alright, I got my support ship coming. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. Calm yourself for a second. Calm yourself for a second. No, hold on. Hold on. For a second. Calm yourself. This mission has a lot of these. I, I think you can get like 60 or 70 kills by the end of this. Okay. Well, that's Hostile good, because... Oh, shit. Rearming procedures complete. Hostile wing now entering the field of engagement. Come on, fuckers. Let's roll. Unleash the fucking fury. This is the GBT Arden. Now proceeding to dock with the district. Pilots, provide cover for the Arden. That transport contains engineers and ship components vital to the district's repair. Oh. oh shit! Fuck! 
Oh my fuck the morning stars. Holy shit. Stop it. Fuck off. Cruiser now jumping in. God damn it, now a cruiser? Pilots. We will deal with the PCC. Holy crap! Definitely making you work for it. Yeah, they are. Damn it, guys, cover that fucking transport! Oh, God, where is it? By your command. Oh, God, damn it! Oh, God. Another wing? Jesus! <laughs> that shield flare up. I appreciate the shield flare up when. Oh god! Oh good lord almighty. Epsilon is is now long gone. The of materials and support personnel. Oh shit! We have neutralized the harm you. God, more of you! Oh shit! Okay, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on! Quick, quick, quick! Placement components and specialists are now aboard the warship. Initiating undocking procedure and preparing to jump out of the area. Command, All right. we have taken serious damage. All right, cover the death threat. Don't worry about the unto anymore. Stream of enemy attack waves. You must deploy more forces or we will not survive this battle. Every other Alliance unit in the system is currently occupied elsewhere. It's all in the hands of the 161st now. Engine subsystem is now fully operational. Get the fuck out of here then! Go, go, go! Get the fuck out of here, dude! Oh shit! Who the fuck? Who are you? Why are you on my ass? Go away! Subsystem and subspace drives have been repaired. We need approximately four minutes for the drive. Four minutes! The transport has departed. Concentrate on defending the district from enemy fighter and bomber wings. God damn it! You guys are asking a lot of me. Holy shit. Any... Oh, God damn it, of course. There always has to be more fucking segments. Or, uh. Command, the PCD Apophis has entered the area. Oh god damn it. Us. Its primary beam cannons are not within range yet. Oh shit. Attempting to flee from the warship. Oh god, okay, I don't... So what's my priority then? Doesn't say anything about going for beam cannons. Pilots, 
Yeah, I think we just stick with the bombers. Oh, come on! They're launching more! Are you kidding me? Yeah, just go for fucking bombers. Oh, God! More bombers. Okay, they're all coming from there now. Good, 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 good. I can deal with this. Oh, nope, no, they're not. Oh, you tried to bamboozle me, did you? Was oh, there only two of you left? Oh, no, I've targeted the wrong one. Shit. Jump drive power levels have reached 50%. God damn it. Well, fucking power them up more. Good God, pump that shit. Oh boy. Okay. What do we got? Bombers. There we go. Oh god, there's just, just no end to them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Jesus. Watch. This is gonna be a fucking bonus objective for keeping this thing above 30%. <laughs> there's just no, no break, no rest for the weary. Kidding me? The district has left the area. Great work. What? Oh, later next. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious right now? Oh my god, that's infuriating. Uh, there's one for flying through the Titan's hangar. Shut up, Colt. Oh god, that's so loud. Oh Jesus. Excellent job, pilots. PCA launched an unrelenting attack, but the Deshrat escaped the area and the warship's crew owes you their lives. Ship is being pulled out for repairs, but will fight by our side again in a few days. Allied forces in the system report a successful coordinated strike against the rebels. The GTD Delphi and the Sixth Fleet took down the PCC Nehebka in the PCCV Kenti at 1845 with minimal losses, while the Sekum destroyed the PCCV Anjeti at 1920. Command anticipates that we have, we will have regained full control of the system within a week. Although the Confederal destroyer Apophis now controls this sector of, of Adhara, command is devising a plan to take that vessel out of commission once and for all. Alpha-1, you demonstrate exceptional tactical judgment during combat to save a capital ship of the GTVA from imminent destruction. In honor of the GTD Galatea, the Terran warship that valiantly went down defending our homeworld, it is my privilege to award you the Order of Galatea. Congratulations. Was that, was that a nice little, nice little justification for using that medal? <laughs> uh, 
The 161st will be deployed again in 38 hours. We will provide fighter support in a full-scale assault on the Aswan installation near the orbital plane of Adhara 3. Uh. Okay. Uh, I guess there's nothing nothing wrong with that. So well, I think the 15% um, threshold was one of the bonus objectives. The 25 Well, it said secondary failed. Oh, you gotta let off your push to talk when you're not talking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that's annoying. I'm gonna go back and do that someday. Not right now, though, but I'm gonna go back and try that at some point. I feel like Colt is trolling me. I, I feel certain that Colt is trolling me right now. Like 110 for what in God's name are those things? Weird fucking space butt plugs. Holy shit. And don't forget the voice volume thing again. Yes. Holy oh, shit. Affirmative. That's what that's it's what the, it's the Cairo. I think it's used in many campaigns at this point. Is it? Uh, fucking weird ass looking space butt plug. This is Lieutenant Commander Polhatu. We have just been given the specifics of our upcoming mission. Admiral Messerot's general strategy involves... Is he? Hangar bays. <laughs> okay, well, what was that? PI-06? I'll have to go back for that at some point and see what the hell you're talking about. Admiral Messerot's general strategy involves simultaneous attacks on the PCD Apophis, the PCI Aswan, and the PCI Sindel. The 161st will assist in a... You're doing that thing. Uh, the 161st will assist in a lightning strike on the Aswan, the secondary PCA military base of operations in Adhara. The plan is to take the enemy by surprise and destroy the installation as quickly as possible without giving them time to respond with backup. We going in heavy bombers? I hope we're going in heavy bombers. That looks we're like giving them the New Year's Eve surprise. <laughs> that looks like some sort of rotten plant part. Gross. Sindel, are we gonna go Mortal Kombat now? Uh, shipyard in the mini campaign? May oh, good God! Oh, 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 let's fucking go! Our squadron has instructions to provide fighter cover for Beta. And what? No, let me be in Beta and Delta. I want to be in Beta and Delta. Beta and Delta Wings of the 228th Squadron as they attack the Aswan. These wings will be flying Sekhmet class heavy bombers armed with Maxim cans and GTM-12 Cyclops torpedoes, which will enable them to take down the installation. The GVCV Sopidu will also assist in this mission and will be covered by Kappa Wing Kappa Wing of the 108th Squadron. The primary objective for all units remains the destruction of the Aswan. Oh boy. Oh, what all are we dealing with? Torts and uh, sentry guns. What are those? Is that a thing that existed in base game? It looks like a weird space squid. I like it. Yeah, that's, they also look similarly weird. That's that, uh, the PCA. That's so cool the looking. Sentry gun with a beam. I love yeah. it. I'm sorry, did you say sentry gun with a beam? <laughs> Ugh. Since most of the PC fleet is occupied elsewhere in the system, enemy resistance. That's right, but it's the same model. Should it's be like relatively to light. Turn it off and put a beam on it. Reconnaissance units have detected a perimeter defense of numerous Ijo and Nepit sentry gun platforms, as well as several escort fighters guarding the base. These will be the primary targets for our wing. The PCC Nyeth is also patrolling the area, although the Sopidu should be able to destroy it with ease. Uh, yeah, I, I'm starting to remember that. They had uh, AAA beams, didn't they? Uh, yep. That is all. Meet me in Hangar 84 and is that oh Hangar B4 in three hours for mission departure. Okay. Destroy the Aswan. Protect the GVCV. So P2 destroy all other hostile targets. All right. And of course, I don't have anything I'd really like to be using. Cool. Okay. My job is to take out. My job is to take out assholes. So I'm gonna focus on taking out assholes. Uh, 45 shield deepest. Where's... 112, yeah, that's that's actually pretty... This is an easy mission, just spam anything you see. I think there's one bonus objective that's... Er like erase of, everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry... 
I'm gonna carry some of these just for the sentries I don't really want to deal with. There we go. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Alright, let's go! The S1 installation is All in right. visual range. Hold on a sec. We're going in. Provide right. cover from the PCA fighters. Let's see. Take out those sentry guns too if possible. Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. The Nepets, I'm guessing, are the, uh... Are the, uh... Beam ones. Yep. Fire command. Command. I am reading a Shivan cruiser on the other Excuse side of the Excuse you? Long range scans of this area have not picked up any Shivan vessels. Please provide more information on the situation. Yes, please do. Pilots. I would very My much like you. Recognizes the Lilith cruiser as the SC Agni. It appears to be badly damaged, and a PCA freighter is pulling oh, it out of the Oh God! Area. That is contradictory. Official records indicate that the Agni was destroyed in Epsilon Pegasi shortly before the Capella explosion. What? We got a fucking... Oh, hey, Durandal snuck in. Hey, Durandal, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. It Joe's in retail but doesn't appear in any mission, so you're half right about it being new. Nice. All it right. is imperative that we capture that cruiser and find out what is going on here. Gross. Alpha, intercept, and disable that freighter before it departs. Oh, god damn it. Command, <sighs> that ship is over 10 kilometers away. We will never be able to catch it in yeah, time. Yeah, no shit. You know, the high poly version of that Cairo does look kind of weird. I mean, the original was. You're kidding me. Smooth. Oh, you are absolutely kidding me. The PCFR Harishoff has jumped out with the Shivan cruiser. All units, continue with your original assignments. And no shit. Fuck, do you think I'm gonna do? Go through subspace after it? Oh my god. Jesus! Oh God! Jesus! God! Jesus! God! God! Jesus! Oh boy! Okay, where's the where's the where's the little bastard? I'm trying to. Uh, oh, this is a bad idea, but oh God! The installation is the problem. The installation is super the problem. Let's get away from this installation now. Holy crap! All right. Let's see. Where's the where's the other one? There it is. You want me dead. You really want me dead. Okay. I am. Oh, please don't be shooting at me. I hate that sound. I'd like you to not be shooting at me. Oh, you are definitely shooting at me right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shields concentrate on my ass. Holy crap. All right, where is where is everyone? Here, I'm going to I'm going to help from afar. I'm helping. Holy crap. Whew. Do we get rid of Oh, we need to get rid of all of these. You have all of these things. The S1 has 
taken significant damage. Keep up the good work. Keep it up, everyone. keep it up, keep it up. Fire that flak at that guy over there. Just ignore me. Oh God, you're not ignoring me. I asked you to ignore me. Why did you stop ignoring me? Oh shit. Because they listened to Murphy. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God damn it. Oh boy. Oh shit. Good God. I'm going at... Oh shit! Holy crap, dude! The range on those fucking things is intense. Okay, let's uh let's maybe approach this with a slightly different tact this time, shall we? <laughs> I was 100% the sentry gun. Okay. All right. The S1 installation. I'm going is in all range. the way over this way. We're going in. I'm going Provide all the fucking the way around. Take out those sentry guns too, if possible. Command, I am reading a Shivan cruiser on the other oh, side of the boy. installation. Long-range scans of this area have not picked up any Shivan vessels. We're taking down Joe Haywater. Information on the situation. Oh God. My computer recognizes the Lilith cruiser as the SC Agni. It appears to be badly damaged and a PCA freighter is pulling it out of the area. That is contradictory. I'm just trying to get Official around the station so I can get a clear shot on the sentry guns, but... Shortly before the Capella explosion. It's not, uh... It is imperative that we capture that cruiser and working find out, so out what great. is going on here. Alpha, intercept, and disable that freighter before it departs. Command. Yeah, you're asking a lot of me. Kilometers away. We will never be able to catch it in time. Good fucking god. Okay. These are all so far away. Where's the closest one? You're the closest. Followed by that. Followed by that. Followed by that. Okay, so... We're doing this. CFR Harishoff has jumped out with the Shivan cruiser. All units, continue. What is the range assignment. on this thing? There it is. I think it's 1500 or 2000. I mean, it's no, it's like it's like 4000. Like it, it appears to be no, not the beam, not the beam. My missiles. Those are taken care of. Now it's just a matter of dealing with these fuckers. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, you have a triple A, hello. Hello, friend. Thing, please. Okay. All right. We have taken down the PCC need. I don't know if these are close enough, but I'm I'm unleashing on them. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna snipe. I'm just gonna snipe. Uh oh, I'm being shot at. What? Okay. The S1 has taken significant damage. Keep it up. Keep up the good work, everyone. Attack on your target. 
At some point, it will deploy escape pods. So you want to be in a position to intercept them from the bottom. Where's, uh... Oh, get off my ass. Good God! Get off of me, you fucking violent piece of shit. I will not let you get behind me. Remember, GTBA aren't exactly good guys either. Ah, oh, God. God, get rid of this fucking thing, please. Good God. Hello. Get rid of this last goddamn sentry gun. Oh shit. All enemy sentry guns have been neutralized. Oh, hello, don't shoot at me, please. I'd like you to not shoot at me, please. Are you on the other side or are you right there? Let's find out. Oh, shit! The installation's hull integrity has reached the critical mark. Alright, where's the fighter bay on this thing? Down there. Ugh. Back with pizza didn't bring me any. Rude. By your command, the kill is yours. Marking to attack. This is the soap view. We have taken serious damage and are in need of immediate support. Goddamn. Cover that fucking thing. Ugh. The Aswan has jettisoned six escape pods. Destroy them if you get the chance. Oh, fuck. Oh, the Sopidu is fucked. Are they all... Yep, they're all gone. Prepare <laughs> to press war crime button. Oh, God! Oh, God! Yeah, this thing's fucked. Oh, this was a mistake. Ah, oh, the Sopidu's not gonna make it. it mad. The Sopidu's not gonna make it. Oh, fuck. So Pidu's dead. So Pidu's super dead. The Aswan's hull strength has fallen below 5%. Destruction is imminent. Uh, oh god, EMPs now? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Oh god. The Sophie is breaking up. No! Avenge us. Avenge. Set. Oh shit! Hi! Hello, friend! No, 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 no! I don't have enough countermeasures for this! Shit, 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 shit! Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, no shit. This is, I'm supposed to protect the Sopidu, but it just cruises casually through the goddamn main arsenal of the installation. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. Okay. I have I have a new plan. I have I have a plan. I have a brilliant plan. I have such a brilliant plan. The S1 installation is in visual. I can range. only Oh god damn Alpha it. Wing. We're going in. I can only Provide tell Alpha fighters. Take out those sentry guns too if possible. Command. That's terrible. I am reading a Shivan cruiser on the other side of the installation. Long range scans what of this is area the... have not picked up any Shivan vessels. Weapons. Please provide more information on the situation, pilots. My I'm gonna guess this weapon subsystem is stupid tanky, active. right? It appears to be badly damaged and a yeah, crater is pulling it out of the area. Yeah, this mission is supposed to be much easier than the previous one. That is contradictory. Okay. But you know, I don't Official like. I've never seen that the Agni was destroyed in Epsilon Pegasi shortly so before the Capella explosion. It is imperative that we capture that cruiser and find out what is going on. I didn't hear anything you said over this guy who never shuts up. that freighter before it departs. Shut up! What did you say now? <laughs> Hi, Nocturnal Tina. Oh my God! You said you what? An FSO engine change maybe make it made it more difficult. Oh, yeah, I was saying that the that ship is I've never seen the Sopito get destroyed in this mission. We will never be able to catch so, it in time. Have you ever seen the uh, Have you ever seen the Sopito just cruise right into the fucking flak screen of the installation before? Like it straight up flies right into the goddamn. Uh, it's usually dead by the time the Sopito gets that close. Yeah, well, apparently the Aswan is tankier, so. Excellent. I'm just gonna double fire these, I don't care at this point. The PCFR Harishop has jumped out with the Shivan cruiser. All units. Continue with your original assignments. Let's get rid of this fucker. Get rid of these things. Thank you. Get rid of all the sentries, and then put everyone on protecting the Sopidu. Jesus, stop shooting at me. All right. We have taken down the PCC. Needle. Everyone on the Sopidu. All right. Everything dead? No, we got two more of these. On the wrong goddamn side. The Sopidu is actually a ship from the main campaign. Is it? It, 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 it's, it's it sounded familiar, the name. Yep. Could you possibly be in a worse fucking a worse fucking position? Fucking things like ask and you shall receive. Ugh, God, these sentries. The S1 has taken significant damage. Why? Of the good work. God damn. Everyone. Where am I? relative to this stupid thing. Okay. Uh, fighter bay, okay. All enemy sentry guns have good. been neutralized. Good, good, good. Everyone just protect the Sopidu. I'm just gonna shoot fish in a barrel now. Are 
pa 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 da pa 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 da pa 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 hello friend yeah i got one off right before it docked let's go all right that's how you do it uh oh oh they're angry Oh, you're super angry. Okay. The installation's home integrity has reached the critical mark. Fuck off. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Let's deal with these, shall we? That was close. Rude. Good God, get off of me. Seriously. You can fire those thunders at you. Good Lord. Lord. The S1 has jettisoned six escape pods. Destroy them if you get the chance. Yep. On it. All right, they're all gone. Oh, shit. Fuck off, dude. Get off of my dick. ECA freighters have been eliminated. This is the soap view. We have taken serious damage and are in need of immediate support. God damn it, dude. I have everyone covering you. I don't know what else you want me to fucking do. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Are you shit? Look at this. What the fuck, dude? The soap view is breaking. Up. I can do everything it right and it just cannot fucking. God damn it. Are you shitting me? Oh god. So now how the hell do we take this thing down? You gotta take out the beams before it gets too close. Oh man. Well, you said yourself that it's not even supposed to get that close. So I'm about to just invuln this fucking thing since apparently the Aswan was given significantly more health. Holy crap, dude. Can you fuck off? Renegade Paladin has connected. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think we can kill this thing now that we don't have our our Corvette. I'm pretty sure that we can't do anything. Renegade Paladin. You still have bombs. Do I have bombers? I can't order my bombers though. And they're not really doing much. Uh, but I can't, I can't order them. Uh, well, Beta, Beta's almost dead. Oh boy. Good God. This is why I wish you could cripple the fighter bay. They just keep sending shit out. Just thread it. Thread it. That threads can be used. Get off of me! Oh my god, fuck off. Uh, when did I tell you to- Oh god, they have imps! Paladin was here. <laughs> what happened there, my guy? Oh, I have no idea. Crap. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a restart. I don't think- 
That hasn't lost 1% in like a full minute. Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is a restart. This is definitely a restart. The game originally had this bug that if you told someone to ignore something, then everyone did that. I don't know if that was ever fixed. <laughs> I don't think that's the issue. I don't think I told anyone to ignore that. Uh, Paladin and Paladin. The one installation is in visual yes. range. All right. Alpha wing, we're going in. Sure, Provide destroy subsystem. Why fighters. not? Destroy all the beam turrets, I guess. Possible. Command, I am reading a Shivan cruiser on the other side of the installation. Long range scans of this area. Hey, Mito, it's uh, vessels. it's it's going. Please provide more information on the situation, pilots. Guess My I'll just have everyone disarm the, the Aswan the then. It uh. appears to be badly damaged, and a PCA freighter is pulling it out of the area. Here, I'll just. That is contradictory. Official Disarm my target, why not? Destroyed in Epsilon Pegasi shortly before Pegassi. the Epsilon explosion. Epsilon Pegasi. It is imperative that we capture that cruiser and find out what is going on here. Uh, Alpha, intercept and disable that freighter before it departs. Yeah, that's not happening, Command. fam. That ship is over the weather today is away. snow. We will never be able Excellent. to catch it in time. Acknowledged. Weapon subsystem targeted. No, don't target the weapon subsystem. Just fucking, just get rid of uh, get rid of the turrets, please. Thanks, appreciate it. Ugh. The PCFR Harishoff has jumped out with the Shivan cruiser. All right. All units, continue with your original assignments. Alright. I'm pretty sure those are on the other side, so I'm not going to worry about those right now, but... Alright. Got support coming in. Everyone just... Alright. We got two of those. No, three? Where the hell is the third one? Oh, hello. Hello, friend. This event flips my entire week upside down. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't plan it that way. Oh, you wanna play? Oh my god, you're fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! You need to get off of me. God. How long does this EMP last? Good god. Okay. We have taken down the PCC need. That's the last the one. The one has taken significant damage. Keep up the good work. You uh, can use the thunders against those. those uh, all those sentries. Yeah, but I have to get a lot closer. All right, this is the last one. All enemy okay. guns have been neutralized. Disarm this motherfucker. Acknowledged. Those, you guys apparent, I think, have a uh, plot immunity. So, let's see. All right, where's the nearest? Get rid of this thing. Ow! Stop. You need to stop that. All right. Just get rid of everything on this thing. Oh, it brings up a good point. It might be the duking it out between the Sopedu and the Nate that 
makes it so that the Sapidu can't actually target the Aswan probably. Maybe. Whatever the case, I'm gonna try and help that situation. Yeah, that might be the reason. And that's the kind of thing that's very difficult to predict in like a small, like even a change of model might cause the mission to play out differently. Yeah. Maybe the update. Well, that's, that big beam turret is the main issue, so I'm having everyone go ham on that. Actually, one has jettisoned six escape pods. Okay. Destroy them if you get the chance. Okay. Since I get everyone focusing on that and I'm dumping trebs, that's helping. But now... Okay. There, now the Sapidu's doing better. Okay. I think, yep. Escape pods are down. All right. Back to everyone destroying this, working on this goddamn beam turret. It's shooting through its own hole. Aswan's hull strength has fallen below 5%. Destruction is imminent. Oh, Good God. Get rid of it! It's gone! It's gone! The beam turret's gone! Everyone defend the Sopidu! Fuck off, dude! God, you act like Fury AI. The S1 has been destroyed. Eliminate all remaining hostiles and return to base. This is the soap. We have taken serious damage and are in need of a Jesus Christ! S Stop shooting at me! God, I'm not gonna survive the fucking encounter! Shoot everything that's shooting me! That's your new mission! Yeah, the AI doesn't do that unless it's, it's scripted in. Holy crap, dude. It just rushes straight towards the target and then straight around it. I'm sorry, did it say that I didn't get one of the escape pods? I beg your fucking pardon? I dumped everything on them. What? Two of the, what the hell? Hold on, when did they arrive? It's easy to miss one, actually, one or two, because they leave in like 30 seconds. Holy crap! Oh, four. Holy crap, not even 30 seconds, are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. Oh, holy crap. All right. And the Sapidu got out, right? Yep. Thank God for that. Uh, not enough war crimes today. Uh, I, I'm not sure I want to because I'm not sure how I succeeded so well this time. Like, the beam turret that was doing most of the damage was still intact by the end, but somehow the Sopidu stayed on top of the... Well, like, 40% up from the Aswan this time, and I don't know what was different. I really don't. So... You guys having fun over there? Holy crap. Well, I mean, if what almost says is true, we missed the escape pods with Bosch beer on it, so... Net win? Oh, okay, and now we're just blowing up cargo. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Oh, and okay, and everyone just goes home on their own. All right, then I guess we're done it's here. It's like you're the good Vasudan in the GTBA, <laughs> and you're trying to avoid committing crimes. Oh my god. Ah. Oh god. Well done. Thanks to the excellent escort we provide, the 228th was able 
to take down the Aswan base and clean the area of PCA forces. However, the appearance of the Agni is disturbing. This cruiser was supposedly confirmed to be destroyed in Epsilon Pegasi just a few days before the system was sealed off from Capella. The Sheevan fleet never reached beyond, Cape beyond Epsilon Pegasi, even at the height of the war. The cruiser... The cruiser must have been disabled there and secretly smuggled into Adhara, which suggests that there may have been forces at work that the GTVA knows nothing of. The, this incident has been classified level Upsilon, so we are unlikely to receive an explanation anytime soon. The GVCV Sopidu survived the engagement and its CO, Commodore Column, thanks our squadron for our help. We also managed to destroy all of the PCA freighters and cargo containers. This has significantly reduced the enemy's ability to resupply in the system. Command reports that the GTCV Parapet and the GVCV Hems... I like how it's not even mentioned the fucking escape pods. You got so many plates spinning in your missions, dude, but, like, it's like, ah, I can only make mention of so many of the things I would expect the player to do. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're moving on. I can tell that this is gonna be a campaign I end up coming back to and trying to, like, 100%. So that's a good sign so far. Oh. It's it's frustrating, but it's not so like head bangingly infuriating and unfair that I, I don't think it's doable. I'm like, if I just did something a little differently, I could probably pull it off. Alright. Ovan says, now introducing Bosch Beer Vasuda Blend, only available for a limited time from out of this escape pods. <laughs> Excellent. Uh Okay, let's uh Let's see, what mission am I on? Am I on number eight now? There was a thing called Bosch Power Mix. Bosch I remember Power people Mix. talking about it on the forum at one point. The hell is Bosch Power Interesting. Mix? Interesting. This is Admiral Messerut speaking. After a series of intense battles in Adhara, our forces have finally managed to retake the system. Food and medical supplies are on their way for the people of Adhara as a gesture of goodwill from the GTVA. All enemy supply routes to the system, including those from Procyon, have been cut off and the PCA Adhara fleet is on the edge of defeat. However, there still remains a lot to be accomplished. Production outputs at Procyon military shipyards have skyrocketed during the last few months and Dasmar's vociferous speech yesterday has driven the people of Procyon to the brink of insanity. Insanity! Is that a finger floating in the liquid? Ugh. The secret project, Bosch Beer Sheevan Mix, can lead to homicidal tendencies and mass extinction events. Use at own risk. Jesus. The jump node to Procyon has been secured and we are now preparing for the next stage of our operation. We will soon move in towards the core of resistance in Procyon and, with any luck, silence this rebellion for good. However, one warship of particular importance has evaded us for many days now. The PCD Amenemet, flagship of the Adhara fleet. Current orders from command are to abort the search for the Amenemet and to proceed to Procyon unless the vessel is detected in the next 10 hours. If all goes as planned, the GTD Minotaur will arrive in Procyon to lead the initial attack in 41 hours. See, now now that you've mentioned it, Chekhov's gun, that means the Amenemet is going to show up. The second will soon follow, and we will begin the fight against the former 11th Terran fleet, now known as the First Legion of Independence under of PC course, command. All right, we're gonna fight some Terrans now. These forces are expected to be better trained and equipped than those we have fought off so far. Oh man, what's the implication there? Procyon's a big system, 877 million versus 29 Adhara. Whoa. Lastly, all G... Ooh, a phalanx, what is this? Lastly, all GTVA military units operating in the, in the Adhara Procyon Theater have received shipments of new GTW-81 Phalanx Heavy Assault Cannon. I just love the name of that, the Heavy Assault Cannon. The Phalanx is the newest incarnation of high-power laser weaponry. Much... Uh, oh. It's like a space sniper rifle. Oh, much in the line of the Prometheus Cannons. Unlike the Prometheus, however, its power generation module utilizes a hydrogen-nitrogen reaction that results in exceedingly high damage ratings and a very high velocity. Test runs have shown the weapon to be effective against a variety of targets and should give our squadrons the edge they need to defeat the PCA. However, be advised that the Phalanx has an extensive fire weight cycle and its repeat usage will quickly drain even the largest fighter energy reserves. There you go, there's your sniper uh, caveat. So make every shot count when using this weapon. Okay. I will keep that in mind. This is this is not going to be a dual bank weapon. This is going to be a switch to this when I want to shoot someone's fucking nose off their goddamn ship or take out a beam turret. 
Pilots, we have just received some surprising news. At 0127 today, GTVA Scout Wings detected the PCD amendment. Ah, I called it. The Confederal destroyer previously unaccounted for en route to the Procyon jump known in Adhara. We do not know why our sensors failed to detect a vessel of this size until now. Our technicians believe that may have been modified with advanced sensor jamming equipment. Mm -mm -mm. Bum, bum, bum. Time for sniper games. Any bets on precision shots? I'm usually pretty good if I'm not in the fucking heat of things. I mean, obviously, you're not supposed to be sniping in the heat of things, but we will see what the mission's expectations are for me. I and mean, I, I'd pay five bucks for a 360 no scope. I'm, oh, that's not going to happen, but I'm going to see what the mission demands of me and see if I can't finagle my way to pulling some uh, sniping. In any case... Unfortunately, at this point, the game did not support zooming in. Like the the master armor for Descent Three, that kind of zoom. Uh, right, that's what I would have liked to have in here, but uh, you just have to aim manually. You just have to yeah. rely on the on the lead indicator. In any case, with our squadron's excellent service record, the Admiral has ordered us to break off from the main force and go after the Amenemet. Our assignment is to disable both of the Amenemet's engines, along with the navigation subsystem required for subspace travel. Additionally, all all hatch ships class destroyers in service have been outfitted with a redundant fusion reactor to be used in the event that the primary engine reactors fail. This reactor must be destroyed as well. So I have to I have to delete two engines, navigation subsystem, and a reactor. Okay. No pressure. Armed with a bank of Stelo 2 or trebuchet warheads along with an Akaton SDG or Maxim gun, we will be able to take down these subsystems. Most of the Amenemet squadrons have been wiped out and enemy fighter resistance will be minimal, but they will be desperate nevertheless. Command has not issued explicit instructions from here. We have been told only to hold our position, but I think we can expect one of several allied warships in the area to arrive and finish off the Amenemet. Disable engine, navigation, and reactor subsystems. Okay. <laughs> what is Firestorm <laughs> saying? Or... Oh man, stealth fighter plus phalanx. Yes, that would be great. Ah, ba 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 ba. And of course, I'm flying fucking Seth again. All right, phalanx sniper cannon. Okay, so you want me to? You want me to just erase this fucker? All right. Only three people. Shit, dude. Shit, dog. Shit, dog. Okay. What have you got here? Uh, that's terrible, and you should feel terrible. This, and... Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's see. The uh, Amina Met is nearing the node and you have arrived a good 9 kilometers away from it. You need to make haste, pilots. Affirmative, command. Beta, go for the engines. We will uh -oh. cover you from any incoming fighters. Okay. You will want to take out some of the turrets as you close in. The Amina Met is launching fighters. Alright, come Alpha, on. intercept them. Beta. Ignore the fighters and proceed to attack the engine subsystem. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're working on it. Nav's all the way at the front. Ah, uh, god damn it. Affirmative. Uh, da, 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 da. Remember that they can fix subsystems if you leave them alone long enough. Oh, great! It's one of those. My favorite. Oh, they act like people's. Da, 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 da. Gross. So I think the stilettos are actually useful in this campaign. They they move faster or something. It's harder for the enemies to shoot them down. Why am I not? Oh, there we go. Cover me, damn it. Cover me, damn it. Oh, God 
god, there it is. Oh, shit, 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 that- oh, I got way too close. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Righto. You gonna approach that way, huh? One of the engines has been neutralized. Let us take down the, On the original one. Hutchinson model, that turn is actually inside the model. So it's really hard to hit. Get rid of this goddamn thing, please. Don't need this fucking thing giving me problems while I'm... There we go. Alright. Cool music, fam. God damn it! Both engines are down. Now going after the secondary reactor and navigation subsystems. Beta 2. Fuck off! Take down the reactor. We will destroy the subspace navigation unit. Ow! Come on! Jesus Christ. It's like it ignores me until I take out one turn. It's like, oh, okay, then how about this? God damn it. Come here. Ugh. Uh, well, I wasn't it in. It gets mad at you. Yeah, it's very mad at me. Okay, that's it. I'm 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 done playing this game. Get rid of this motherfucker. I'm tired of this shit. Fuck you. So everyone disarm this shit. I'm not I dealing. I think the bassoons use a different, like a purple or something. I wanted to make it look different from the Terran one. Let's get rid of everything. All right. Let's see. Nabs up there. Oh, reactors there. Okay. Oh, ah, come on. Reactor subsystem is inoperational. Good work, pilots. Beta 2, I need assistance with the navigation unit. The turrets here in the front are still operational and I can't get yeah, a Yeah, I shot. know. We're working on that. Good God. Alright. Where's your... sensors? <laughs> your sensors are a problem to me right now. the turrets on this piece of shit. Alright. Let's finish defanging this thing. Are you firing through the hole? Are you kidding me now? 
Oh, you are just That's one powerful turret. You are just obnoxious. God, you're like a child that just doesn't want to go to bed. Fuck off. Come on, man. I have time for you. Holy crap, dude. Ah, this thing Let's has get the net. Yeah, well, I was trying to get rid of the stuff on the front, but yeah, at this point, I'm spending so much time on the turrets, I might as well just... Alright, let's see. Bridge, nab, okay. Alright, I'm gonna have the rest of beta continue to work on defang. Oh my god! While I deal with the nav. Mission complete. The Aminem head will be easy prey for our incoming warships. You say that, but... The GTD Delphi is on its way and will arrive momentarily to finish the job. Stand by. I copy. Neutralize Everyone just take out... Did we do it? Oh, thank God we did it. Okay. Hey, look, a bridge. What would happen if I Good blew that up? work on those subsystems. Pilots. Pick off the enemy fighters at your discretion, but don't put yourself at unnecessary risk. Crime requirement for last we will deploy more wings to assist. Oh man, well you know me, I like this to catch up on my war crime quota. Delta. Amin Amhet, you will power down your weapon systems and unconditionally surrender. And now you, you can't- not stand a chance. And now you can't talk to us. Hey so look, the fighters just surrender. As honorable citizens of the PCA, I and my crew will claim victory or else face death. A suicidal martyr is not remembered for his courage, but only his folly. This is the final cell phone. warning, Admiral. He has a cell phone? Or face the Take his cell phone away! This thing has a Enough beam off. left on it? What the Fight fuck? Fight your guns instead of your tongue, coward. The Aminem head has activated its beam cannons. Oh they god. Their oh to shit! This engagement. Weapons control, return fire. The Aminem Head's hull integrity has reached 50%. This is the GTCV Parapet. Come here, asshole. Procyon jump node. Now engaging the Aminem Head. Fuck you! Oh, you want you want prey game? We prey game. Come here. So those big turrets on the Hecate finally have something that looks cool and looks worthy of those big turrets. Oh my god! Very nice. Okay, where's that beam turret? Avoid the beam and you won't get hit. By yeah, it. I'm I'm scared to be between this uh Alright. The enemy destroyer's hull integrity has fallen below critical also, levels. Also, I'm really liking the new Keep it up, texture everyone. they got for the blob turret shots here. Very much streamlined. Those slash beams are making me incredibly nervous. That one is from the is medium beams, down. I think. They, they updated those at one point. Your assault on my ship and crew only fuels the secessionism in the hearts of the people. We may die, but the star of the PCA shall live on forever. Live that on! The star has crumbled apart in this system. Onward to Procyon. Theta, ah! continue your escort of the Delphi. Iota and Phi, head back to the destroyer. Alpha and Beta, return to the Seeksum. You have all done well. Excellent. Pilots. Destroy Ares. What did they puss out when they saw? Did Ares? Did Ares fucking bail? Oh, or we blew up the ship before it could deploy Ares. That's probably what happened. I've seen that happen a lot. All right, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Our job well done, team. <laughs> Let's go home. Don't forget the voice volume thing. Ah oh, yes. 
Outstanding job! Our forces took down a major confederal destroyer in this mission and the enemy has been completely pushed out of Adhara. I'd like to point out, but did nobody commented on my, uh... Nobody commented on my, my mid-range, uh, hip-fired sniper shots on enemy fighters. I'm very disappointed. Shortly after we left for the mission, Command discovered that the Amenemet actually had been tracked down earlier, but its presence was kept a secret by rogue operatives within the GTVI who... Oh, great. <laughs> the rogue, rogue intelligence again. Who wished to see it escape. These men have now been apprehended and await a court-martial. Uh, PCA are bested. We're on our way to total victory. Let's go. <laughs> the, that Toth kill is awesome. Thank you. I was, two shots, two hits. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, we are currently amassing our fleets at the Procyon jump node, and our resupplying efforts are going faster than expected. We will move into Procyon with a full force at 1010 10 tomorrow and begin the assault. In the meantime, I recommend the transfer of two of you to the 228th squadron. <gasps> We're getting a squadron change. One we'll of the Sekum's top level elite units. You have served the 161st exceptionally well, and it is with great pride that I can claim to have flown by your side. Good luck with your new assignment, pilot. Okay. We're on our way to total victory, remembers Toad Kane class. All right. Uh, uh, it looked like it did. It looked like it's, well, the shields took damage because they were dimmer after I'd shot them. So it did, it did shield damage and then it did bleed through damage. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's a cool logo. Greetings, pilots. I'm Commander Lamarck of the 228th Squadron. Our unit is an attack bomber squadron. Yeah, let's go! An attack bomber squadron. Our primary targets will be enemy warships. The two Vasudan bombers currently in service, the Baka and the Sak... And the, and the Sekmet, not the Sakmet. The Sock Puppet. Are quite capable of taking on enemy fighters as well. Yeah, no shit. I've seen the Sekmet in action. Also, as a certified elite squadron, the 228th has access to special military hardware and experimental prototypes. Yeah! Among these, the latest is the latest revision of the UD Kaiser Heavy Cannon. Oh! Which is a product of Shivan technology, but similar to the GTW 05 Prometheus S in practical usage. See the tech room for details. Bomb squad, time for Helios fighter kills. <laughs> Load Sekmet with Kaisers, let's go! Why, why are these things still in service? Why? Fucking boxes. The GTD Minotaur and the GVCV Kepri made the jump to Procyon only 20 minutes ago. They're better than the Hecate in a lot of ways. I mean, because they're, because, because they're literally giant boxes covered in turrets. I mean, because they're... Uh, giant boxes with turrets. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, it appears that the PCA was expecting assault on the system for the night. Yes. It appears that the PCA oh, was. Boy, you keep yes. you keep hitting that button. <laughs> it's it very distracting it hearing myself. If you're not talking. Uh, it appears that the PCA was expecting an assault on the system, for the jump node was well fortified. Enemy resistance has been considerably heavier than expected, and the PCA is fighting... I almost read that as precociously. Ferociously! To hold on to the node in the surrounding area. The enemy forces have been fighting precociously against us! Uh... Because Orion's is thick, tough like shit, and armed to the teeth. Ugh, they're so ugly, though! The, the floating metal warehouse with guns version. Oh! Oh, enemy Mjolnirs! I beg your pardon? Our wing's first objective is to eliminate the four Mjolnir class sentry guns the PCA is set near the node. What the fuck? Once this is done, we are to destroy any targets of opportunity, especially focus on, focusing on larger vessels such as cruisers or corvettes. Although we have not lost any warships yet, some have taken moderate damage and our secondary objective is to defend them from incoming hostiles if the situation grows worse. Uh, you're flying a strike bomber. That part is cake. Yeah, I know, but I mean, well, I guess, I guess Mjolnir's are only going to fire on cap ships. They're not going to shoot at me, right? Uh, we are to destroy any targets of opportunity. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 
Got it. Got all that. Okay, destroy mule nerves and then destroy any cap ships. We have approximately five minutes to choose our loadouts, but no more. The battle is raging on. Friendly casualties are increasing at an alarming rate. See me on the flight deck as soon as you are ready. Destroy all four Mjolnirs, destroy all hostile forces, and secure jump node, protect any friendly warships in need of assistance. Okay. Okay. And I am flying a segment. Let's fucking go. Well, the idea was they were already in the system, and someone has to go through first and take the hit from them. Right. Kaiser Revision. 550 range. 3,000 range. Gonna be good for the Mjolnirs, but... Oh my god. So <laughs> this mission, I think a Maxim is actually better. Because uh, you're mostly fighting cap ships. That's fair. Oh, of course. Of course. And yeah, this is a tough mission. Uh. Mm. Okay, I guess that's fair. All right. Oh, this will be exciting, won't it? Get ready, Joe. This mission is tense. Uh. Okay. Alpha, you must eliminate those emplacements as quickly as possible. Beta. Set course to engage the PCC Hespros. Acknowledged. Command. Alpha. Destroy those Mjolnir guns one by Mjolnirs. one. Mjolnirs. Try to first neutralize the Alaska guns at each RBC site to avoid taking damage. Or. Or I could just do this. <sighs> of course. Affirmative. Affirmative. Two of the four sentry guns are down. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Great. So now I have basically nothing to fight. Uh. Let's see. Oh wait. There's a bunch of other sentries around here as well. Be good. Go to destroy your targeting attack on your target. All right. Damn it. Right. Let's take this fucker out. Take him out. Yeah, I think those are part of the objective. I should be able to... Why can't I hit this yet? Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Ah. We have taken out the Hespros. destroy your target. Alright. Take this fucker out. Man, even even with everything in guns, I still drain way faster than I can fire on this thing. Alright, what's your what's your biggest oh, Yeah, I think the AI's supposed to do it for you, but you told them to do something else. Oh, so should I have just not uh -oh. should I have not done that? Okay, yeah, I think, uh, dude, this thing's not taking damage from us. Am I doing something wrong? Should I not be attacking this? 
And yeah, you gotta take turrets out first, I guess. Okay. Oh, then I just wasted. Like the yeah, I think the turrets. way this is supposed to work is being eliminated. Sentries, but nice work. Because the AI's didn't do that. It's like it screwed up something else. My bad. Okay, let's let, let's let's start over then. All right, I'll I'll just let them do their thing then and not alpha. You Tell must them eliminate to... those emplacements as quickly as yeah, possible. Yeah, 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 we're working on it. Beta, set course to engage the PCC Hesperos. Acknowledge. Command. Alpha, destroy those Mjolnir guns one by Mjolnirs. one. Mjolnirs! Try to first neutralize the Alaskar guns at each RBC site to avoid taking damage. Yes, yes, yes. Take out the Alistars, got it. Four I'll, sentry guns are down. I'll deal with the Mjolnirs first, and then I'll take out the Alistars. Ah, oh, my eyeballs! My eyeballs! <laughs> I love the explosion sound. It's like, it's like old movie explosion. The stock Mjolnir exp looks like an eyeball. Uh... Alright. God damn it, I don't need all this crap. Stop. Alright. Get rid of all of these. Uh. What the GTVA should do is just duct tape that Mjolnir to all their ships. <laughs> that would be a good option. Oh actually. my god. That sounds insane. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. It's because you're flying right into the goddamn thing. What do you expect to happen? We have taken out the Hesperos. Oh, that's all that's left? Okay, easy. Alright, the Alistors are dead. Can we participate in the red? Uh, uh. Can we participate in the rest All of the battle now? Guns have been destroyed. All right. Good job. Oh, now okay. it'll show on the escort now list. Okay, fine. Be that way. Commencing strike run okay, on the so it's in order of operations. Yeah, so you have to. Order. It's scripted that way. Got it. Aye, aye, Captain. We will deal with the Leviathan first. Because it is significantly less tanky than actually no, isn't the Dimos can go down pretty quickly, can it? Let's see. I think we can get the main flax out of the way. That should go down pretty quick, yeah. I wanna get I wanna get the other There we go. Oh boy. Okay. Everything in engines, everything in engines. Shit, I have to lock with Cyclops. What's the one you can dump fire? Is that Helios? I think Helios you could dump fire. Shit, it. shit, I fucked up. Ugh. Get the fuck out. Oh, get the fuck out. I'm right in the flak screen. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. No, Helios has oh, no, it's... worth lock. Oh, okay. shit, he's some transit and dump fire. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. The palace oh. has been eliminated. Nice work. Ugh. For some reason, I could have sworn there was at least one bomb type that you could just dump fire it. There's definitely a bomb you can dump fire. I just don't know what it is. The Inferno. That's the Inferno's not a bomb though. Or no, it's definitely one of the the big like cap ship destroying bombs. I remember that. All right. Let's see. There's nothing in the retail game. Rearming complete, sir. I could have swore there was one I did that, or maybe someone modified it. We will destroy your target. Well, according to Colt, the student Barracuda and FS Port could do that. Hmm. Interesting. The best 
place to approach the Dimos from is in the front. It doesn't have any turrets there, just like the, the main beams. Kepri's going down, God damn it! The Kepri just went down. Damn it! But we must push on. Reinforcements from Hatera are on. God damn it! Oh. Uh. Uh, I could have swore that there was a time that I just dumped a bomb on something. We have destroyed the Karanis. Uh, it's definitely savable. It's just I have to. I spent a lot of time fucking around. Can you? Fuck you. Get off my ass. You have to steal. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time fucking around instead of, uh. Oh, Allied boy. cruisers, uh, and uh, are now in system. Instead of, like, focusing its guns or whatever. God, everything's on me! GVD to shred. We will intercept the enemy bombers. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Ah, oh, God. Are they after. Alright. Who am I protecting? Or who are they after, rather? Yeah, I, I, I was spending way too much time dicking around. Artemis bombers. Oh, Medusas. Those are, those are much higher priority. Pilots. Be advised that we have detected more hostile warships en route to your location. Great. Keep a lookout for them. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. The hell did I even evade there? Oh, beam turret. This is the Minotaur. Outer hull has sustained significant damage. Oh, boy. Theta and Epsilon wings provide support. Take out that beam. I'm working on it. Oh, God. Knew that was going to happen. Well, there went his main beam. Ow. Ow. Fuck your rail gun. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> the centipede is history. Oh, God damn. Ah, oh, it's faster than me. God damn. I'm trying to get away from your fucking flak screen. Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. Was that a Fenris or a Leviathan? Why is it so fast? I thought it was flying a fucking uh, perpendicular and slightly the away from Aeolus. That was Aeolus. That yeah. was oh shit. Oh, well, that was my mistake. I was fucking around with an Aeolus. <laughs> Even in retail, I think the Aeolus is Aeolus and Dimos are probably the most dangerous. You must ships eliminate against those fighters. emplacements yeah. as quickly yeah. as possible. Beta, set force to engage the PCC Hespros. Acknowledge. Command. Alpha. Destroy those Mjolnir guns one by one. Try to first neutralize the Alaska guns at each RBC site to avoid taking damage. Sentry guns are down. Oh, this fucking spread sucks. Hello, friend. Do you want to play? Go away. Being assholes. 
Alright. We have taken out the Hesperos. Come on. Come on. Gotta get rid of these really quickly. And then we can deal with the... Ah! Come on, guys. There we go. All enemy sentry guns have been destroyed. Alright. Good job, Alpha. Now focus on the enemy warships. Commencing strike run on the Karanis. Damn it, come on. Affirmative. We will destroy your target. Ah, I'm trying to get that fucking beam. There it is. The palace has been eliminated. Nice work. Hello, friend. It's more like it makes the beam person stronger. Uh, I think some ships have that. Okay. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to... Okay. Oh, if that hits, he gets a Cyclops surprise. I think it just did. That can actually work against bombers. If it's like an Ursa or something, you can actually hit it with that. You have to dive, otherwise it'll intercept it. I know, but I've got someone rearming me right now, so I'm just trying to do my best to draw its fire. If it's if it's firing at my my bombs, then it's not firing at the Kepri, but I don't think the Kepri's gonna make it anyway. No, Kepri's not gonna make it. Just went Damn down, it, fuck. But we must push off. Reinforcements yeah, fire fucking everything you've got at my bomb so you're not fucking. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You didn't get any closer to me. How the fuck am I suddenly within range of you? Jesus. Good God, dude. Why is it so hard to get this fucking thing down? Like, come on, guys. Ugh. Can you fuck off? Wow. Wow! Fuck off! Good God, dude! Have destroyed the Karanis. I'm just being shot up. Alright. Where is my... Re my rearm. The bombers now. Oh god, your cruisers oh, okay. and Mikrinus are now in system. Alright, good. 
Now what? What the fuck is, is shooting? Excellent wing of the fuck off, dude. Squadron. GBD to shrimp. We will intercept the enemy bombers. Fuck off. Oh my god, is that bomber about to... Uh, that one Medusa offends my presence, and he's about to pay for it with his life. Someone else launched a bomb at him. Here it comes. Pilots, Where to go? Be advised that we have detected okay. more hostile warships en route to your location. Keep a lookout for them. There we go. Alright. This is the Minotaur. Outer hull has sustained significant damage. Theta and Epsilon wings provide support. We already get the fucking thing? I guess so. Where the hell is the... the Acantha? I don't want to get touched by the Acantha. The Minotaur just ripped him apart almost immediately. The centipede is history. Oh. God damn it. Oh, interceptor's on my ass. Oh shit! Jesus! All right, where are the beams? All the beams must go. All beams must go. All beams must go. Get that motherfucker. My, uh, my rearm guy is on fire. Well, he's dead. The yeah, it's just a little no decorative war. fire, it's fine. Just a little decorative <laughs> fire? That doesn't fill me with confidence. Holy shit! Dude, he's dead! Calm! Calm thine self! God, not having, like, proper anti-fighter primary sucks so much ass. This is the GTCV war spike. Oh, that was ready to assist. The war spike! Now engaging the enemy. Alright, get rid of these fucking Perseus. More bombers. Come here, you. I knew that was gonna hurt! Oh god. Alright. Where is it? Ugh. I don't want to get close to that ALS, but I'm gonna. I'm, I need to drop bombs off on this thing. You can't shoot them all down, asshole. Joe says with no confidence that he can't shoot them all down. Oh, oh, oh! Well, it doesn't matter. We have destroyed the three. Alright. Hello, Herc. Any bombers? More bombers. All right, then. 
More bombers. God damn, you guys are persistent. And another wing of bombers. And another one. Ooh. Another wave of PCA warships has jumped in. We cannot hold this position much longer. Command. Our so staff that's support it, that these are the last of their vessels in okay. this sector. Alpha. Which one the... On the Phobiter. The Phobiter. Try to knock out its frontal beam cannons. Okay. Don't get caught in the beam fire. Oh shit! Oh god, yes! Pain! Pilots. We are taking heavy fire here. I know, I know, Double I know. I'm working on it. Accepting the bombers and prioritize those enemy beam cannons. Oh god, this is gonna hurt so much. Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay. Ah, uh, 500% stress. Ah! Beam cannons neutralized. The look at here has been destroyed. Ow! Please don't do that. Okay, I need to leave. Sorry, this is a bad place to rearm. This is a very bad place to rearm. This is a super bad place to rearm. Ah, uh, god damn it, more bombers, son of a bitch. I think you guys got that under control. Wouldn't it be really unfortunate if... What's that? Okay, that's debris. Wouldn't it be just really unfortunate if someone launched a bomb at this poor bastard? That would be awful. Who would do such a thing? As the clock slowly ticks to war crime clock. Okay, who's shooting? Who's shooting me? Hey, asshole. Hey, hey, asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> wow, he survived. No, never mind. He did not. In the immediate vicinity. It looks like we have a destroyer. Another de What? What? That is no ordinary destroyer. What? My computer displays oh, 80s class configuration. Shit! What is going on Run here? Run the fuck Command. away! This is Supreme Admiral Dasmer speaking. After two weeks of defeat, it is now our turn to strike. Oh God! Watch closely and say your prayers as your warships fall to the wrath of the Procyon. Are you autonomy. fucking kidding me? The Minotaur has been destroyed. This mission has been fatally compromised. All allied units, get out of there. Get the fuck out of there now! Oh my god. Oh. Don't forget the volume. I can't do- oh, oh, I can do that while I'm jumping. Okay, cool. Holy shit! You want the alpha on those beams fit? Yeah, they look kind of... Was, was it just me, or they look really weirdly colored or out of place? Well, they look pretty pale blue to me, yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> there might be some issue with the transparency on those. <laughs> the, it jumped in on the exact vector I was on. It was like having a semi pull up behind your tiny ass little like fucking two seater car. <laughs> it's just like get out of the fucking way. <sighs> The destruction of the Minotaur is a great tragedy for the Alliance. Yeah, fucking so is 
sews the shit in my pants from that Hades coming up on my tail. More than 10,000 Terran pilots and officers lost their lives today. There was nothing we could have done to save the ship from its demise. More disturbing, however, is the existence of a proprietary PCA super destroyer that, as was seen today, is capable of decimating our warships. Almost no data is available at the moment, but we do know that the vessel's configuration design closely matches that of the old Hades destroyer, the flagship of the rogue GTI faction. This suggests some startling implications about the PCA and the roots of this regime might lie much deeper in history than we realize. While examining acquired PCA documents, intelligence had found vague references to something re uh, referred to as the Saturn Project. There are many indications that point toward the vessel we encountered being the culmination of that effort and command has thus officially designated it, designated it the PCD Saturn. No further information is available on the Saturn at present other than that it is the single most powerful vessel in Terran Vasudan space today. While not nearly as potent as the legendary Colossus, it is still a threat of the highest order and will be a menace to our fleets. It is not known how the enemy was able to acquire the Hades design blueprints or where and when the Saturn was constructed. Even aside from the Saturn, Command seems to have seriously underestimated the strength of the First Legion and their commitment to holding the system. A state of military emergency has been declared in Procyon and two additional battle groups are on their way with a fresh complement of ships and men, but it will be another two weeks until they arrive. Our forces are scattered throughout Procyon and are battling the enemy in nine different sectors in the system. We have already been given our next assignment and I will brief the squadron at 1900 today. Well, this uh, escalated very quickly, didn't, didn't it? Yeah, like, uh, really, got out of hand. This, uh, this went up to 11 really fucking quickly. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll uh, <laughs> we'll press on, shall we? Now the Saturn still uses the original model based on the retail Hades model, and it really shows, unfortunately. I I didn't even have a chance to notice. I was too busy hauling ass away from it. <laughs> oh my god. Affirmative. All right. Let me seven stages. All right. Give me a sec. Take a hit off of this. That's uh. It looks like things are about to get really tense. All right. All warships in the 6th Fleet and the 15th Battle Group have now arrived in Procyon and are fighting the enemy on multiple fronts. Due to the events that occurred when we entered the system and the unexpected strength of the enemy fleet, our forces have been spread quite thin throughout Procyon and the original battle plan had to be scrapped. With the loss of the Minotaur, the tide of the battle has shifted firmly in favor of the Confederal forces. Uh, Saturn is up turreted. I mean, everything in this campaign is up turreted, un unless you mean it has more turrets and not that the turrets are operating at fucking maximum overdrive. Fucking things launching goddamn bombardments on me. Ugh. I hate being anywhere near capital the ships Saturn in this. Saturn is up turreted more than anything else. Oh, God. Alright, well. Dimos versus Dimos. Aeolus versus Sobek. Let's go. The GTCV Diomedes and the GT and GVCV Astenu came upon a group of enemy ships at 1626 today, five hours after our initial force led from the jump node. Fled from the jump node. The Corvettes managed to chase down nicely at the PCCV Cypress and the PCC Pyrene from the rest of the enemy forces, but were engaged by the PCD Enceladus, Enceladus, and what is that word? Enceladus soon after and had to abandon the pursuit. The two enemy vessels remain cut off, however, and this is our chance to hunt down those ships once and for all. Okay, so bombing a Corvette and a cruiser, not too bad. I remember trying to disarm it when I played this last summer. It was neither fun nor practical. <laughs> Play no Saturn surprises. Admiral Messerud is sending in three wings from the Sekum to accomplish this task. As Beta Wing, our primary objective is to destroy the Cypress and the Pyrene. In strike operations such as this, it is often worthwhile to first disable the rear turrets from afar before beginning our strafing runs. Okay, take out rear turrets and blow them the fuck up from behind. Got it. Yeah, I don't want to try and go head on at these things. That seems like a bad idea. All right. What do we have Alpha and Gamma flying in? I'm not gonna let you fly in Seth if I can avoid it. Why are we still- why- why are these fuckers still flying these sh- these shitty goddamn- Alright. 
Once these warships are down, we are to wait in the area for the GVC Keprin, which is expected to arrive in around 5 minutes, and secure the area from any remaining hostile forces. Alpha and Gamma Wing from the 161st Squadron will back us up with fighter cover for this mission, with Delta available for reinforcements. Ugh. Alright, Saturn does have a shitload of moons, doesn't it? Oh god! Russ Saturn! Uh... I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I can see what you mean, though. It's a little flat in places, but look, it's yeah. so look, it's so shiny and purple. It's very purple. That's it's, a purple glow. It's quite purple. Put those put those fucking uh, UV lights on that bitch. Put some spinners, man. God damn, we'll be we'll be picking up chicks left and right, rolling down the road. They definitely got the memo that Neon was the future. Yes. The wild card in the present situation is the super destroyer we encountered in our previous mission, the PCD Saturn. Intelligence has no, no information on the Saturn's present location, which appears to be highly classified and known only to the highest ranking officers of the PCA. It seems that Dasmar intended to publicly unveil the Saturn as a symbol of PCA power when our forces first moved into Procyon. Shortly after our defeat, we, he gave a long speech about the vessel and the futility of allied efforts. What a dick. Appropriate that PCA Terran destroyers are named after moons of Saturn. Uh, we are attempting to gather more data on the Saturn's structure and armaments. Once we have some information on its strengths and weaknesses, Command will hopefully be able to devise a plan to counter the warship. Until then, we must prepare for every possibility, as the Saturn could strike at us anywhere in the system without warning. <laughs> Mission departure will be in 30 minutes. I will be in hangar A3 if you have any further questions. Eliminate the PCCV Cypress and the PCC Pyrene. Await the arrival of the GVC Kepper and secure the area. Alright, so what are these things again? These are a Deimos and an Aeolus. I think I want to knock out that Aeolus as quickly as possible. Flying in segments. Trevs. Oh man, I hate. Do I have access to... No, I do not. Okay, so I got Mac... I got Kaisers. I got Maxims. Mm. I mean, honestly, I would rather have Kaisers to deal with things trying to shoot me. It's just, unfortunately, that means that I have to rely entirely on my missiles to deal with these things. Oh, God. Oh, almost had a sneeze there. Holy shit. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't, like, if Alpha and Gamma are covering me, then I'll probably do Maxims again, but, like... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and defang these things from long range. I don't There's wanna... an argument for using Maxim. I'm, yeah, that's I mean, why I'm, I'm you've got a lot of subsystems and stuff to disable. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna use them. Actually, didn't didn't you soup up the? Well, yeah, but then I'm also completely defenseless. Not that the Maxim is terribly helpful against shielded targets, but uh, Maxim has a longer range, though, does it not? Yeah, it does. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. I want, I want, I want something that can stay alive a little longer and, uh, oh, more than a little longer. Holy shit. Okay. All right. All right. Where is, where are Pilots, we relative to the... Sensors indicate that the warship's jump drives will be recharged within four minutes. You must either destroy or disable them before they get a chance to escape. All right. Beta, we're going in to take out those fighters. Get right. ready to make your run once the escorts are down. Alright. Oh boy. Here comes the bad. Cover me, assholes. Those Myrmidons will shred me. Great music choice. Uh 
friends behind. By your command. Ooh. Ooh. So remember, you only have four minutes. So the best I know, way I is know. to disable the, the engines on at least one of them first. On your Cover me, damn it. Okay. Okay. Let's see if he's got any rear turrets left to deal with that. Oh, oh, yep, he's got flax. Okay. Missiles. Oh, God, the engine's all the way up there. Shit. Hostile wing now entering the field of engagement. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna do something stupid here. Fucker. And then we gotta deal with the Aeolus. Damn, that thing goes Fishing fast. Pilot. Shit, fishing mailed. To seek some for a debriefing. Better luck next time. Uh, okay. Uh, the Aeolus might be easier. The Aeolus only has one engine, right? I think. Alright. Alright. I, I think Either I spent. One or two. I think I spent Pilot. too much time. Sensors indicate that the warship's jump drives will be recharged within four minutes. You must either destroy or disable them before they get a chance Whoops. to escape. Beta, we're going in to take out those Engine, fighters. single engine, okay. Get ready to make your run once the escorts are down. Wow, holy oh shit. Man. At this angle, you could probably get that frontmost Demos engine now, technically. destroy your target. I could probably do that. Yeah, cover me. God damn it. Okay, ass fuck. Where the fuck I are think you? You can also blow up the nav to prevent them from leaving. Alpha one, fucking deal with this. Okay, almost got it. Fuck. Pyrene disabled. Yeah, it did. Oh, god damn it. 
God, fuck, damn. Hit the goddamn brakes. God, stop. Oh my God, can you stop? Alpha Wing, you're supposed to be covering me! By your command. I'm running out of time, I only got a minute and a half left. Is it now? The firing has been destroyed. <sighs> oh god, I'm running out of time. Running out of time! Running out of time, fuckers! No, 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 no! God damn it! Oh, God. Oh, that's infuriating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was trying to deal with the Aeolus and it seemed to be a bigger problem. Pilots. Sensors Fuck indicate it. that the warship's jump okay. drives will be recharged within four minutes. Okay. You must either destroy or disable them before they get a chance to escape. Beta, we're going in to take out those fighters. Get ready to make your run once the escorts are down. Destroy your target. Oh boy. Let's see how much damage this takes from two of them. God damn it. Ah, oh, God, I don't have time for this. All right. Entering the field of engagement. Destroy your target. Oh, where's my fucking. Ugh, come on, resupply me fast. I think we got it. I think we got it. Disable the fucking pyrene. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out.
Almost there, baby. Unleash the fucking fury! There we go! Ah, you can pick them apart. Excellent. Okay. All right. Oh my god. What a clusterfuck. Oh god. All right. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. God, Maxim takes such a drain. I'm noticing. Can you like dock sometime today, please? At this rate, I'm gonna take it out with fucking. I'm gonna take it out with Maxims and never get a single bomb on this fucker. Fuck it. All right, we're doing this now, I guess. All right, fuckers. Rude. This fucker's dead. And let's go. Ah, oh, fuckers. Run away, bitch. Both enemy warships have been neutralized. <sighs> Excellent work. Secure the area and reload your missiles you if scared. necessary. You will receive further bitch orders when the Baron arrives. They could feel the Richter vibes. Yeah, this thing drains super fast. This is the Kepren. We have arrived at the designated Ooh. location. Acknowledged. Pilots, your next objective is to hold the area and eliminate the few enemy fighter wings still remaining in that sector. That sounds like foreshadowing. Position should be minimal. Should be, However, you say. Be advised that the destroyer Enceladus has been detected near your position. Oh boy. If this warship enters the area to recharge its jump drive, <sighs> cripple it as much as you can. We'll try. I lost one of my bombers and I've lost half of my 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 cover uh wings. Not good. So oh, there's God. a bonus objective here to destroy the Enceladus. <laughs> and to do that, you have to disable it or destroy the nav. Sounds like the nav's going to be the big brain play here. Perseus, fuck off. 
Hostile support convoy jumping in. Oh boy. Requesting orders, command. Allied ships, hold your fire. Uh. This convoy is not operating under PCA orders. We are transporting injured civilians out of the immediate battle zone. Pilots, <laughs> do not fire on the convoy. Lol. Those ships have been confirmed as civilian targets and are not to be attacked under GTVA military protocols. No big deal. Just testing Changing the whole ISF yes. status to neutral. Uh oh. So much for those civilians. <laughs> the ones that were in that part of the fucking. Oh god. Oh, hello. Don't mind me just spinning around like a fuck. I still have access to reinforcements too, worst case scenario. And... did you dodge it? No, oh, no you didn't. <laughs> Can't dodge that forever. Trebuchets don't give a fuck about your maneuverability. Alright. Let's get back into the fray here. I, I really don't like that med ship being there. I feel like that's about to become a, uh... That's about to become a pawn in a very messy incident. Oh, man. All your goddamn... You're holding your push talk again, CP. That, that, that really destroys a mirror when their shield is stripped away. Cargo, that, nothing. That, that really destroys a mirror when their shield is stripped Oy. away. Oi. CP, Cargo let go nothing. of the button, please. I might have to take your voice CP. away. That feedback really disorienting. Allied command, we need assistance now. What? What Our happened? Federal activists have taken over critical ship subsystems. They are pal. What? Something blew up. I don't like that. Command, the Kyan just attacked us. Uh. Kyan, disengage at once, or you will not leave the sector alive. All units. Stand clear of the convoy and do not retaliate. There may be fanatics aboard that ship, but they are still civilians. It would lead to major political complications if we were to attack them. Okay. I solved all of our problems. Did I just break the mission? They can't jump out now. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I probably just broke. Oh shit! Nav, 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 nav. Oh fuck! The Enceladus oh no! As expected. Now breaking to attack. Pilots, call in Delta if you require bombing assistance. Delta Wing, come on! Destroy your target. Get rid of the nav. Delta Wing of the 228th Squadron is now in the field. Engaging the enemy. Pilot. Cease fire immediately. Oh fuck. And without a nav, he jumped out anyway. The civilian ships have departed from the area. Impressive work. You have managed to destroy the Enceladus's navigation subsystem. The warship can no longer leave the area. Some of you broke the mission without breaking everything. I broke the mission without breaking the mission. Ow! Ow! Stop shooting me!
fuck off. Okay. I should have command school the player or something if they try to do that. <laughs> Lol. They did say to stop firing, but it like at that point it didn't matter. Destroy your target. This is gonna hurt. Yep. I don't think this is going anywhere, but whatever, just destroy my target. That cruiser's getting chewed. Yeah, I know, I know, that's why. I, oh, the cruiser's disabled. Yeah, the Kevin is getting going. You have to take out those beams. I don't know where the fucking beams are on this thing. Entering the field of engagement. Ow! There it is. Oh, oh, fuck! Okay, I can't do this, though. I, I cannot. Yeah, Kepren's dead. Bye, Kepren. The Kepren has been destroyed. You're oh. on your own now. Oh, Bye. God! Oh, I'm gonna fucking die here. Stop shooting at me, please. I wanted to make a bombing run, but I can't now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Well, at least it didn't give me a fail state or anything for that, so that's encouraging. Busy? Busy with what? Fuck that guy. He doesn't need shit as badly as me. Well, disabling it was the worst choice. Well, my mistake... Uh-oh. Now what? That's what I was thinking, I just need to get some hole. Nice Arinis, nerd. Be a real shame if something were to happen to it. If I near the engine, like right in its ass. Oh, I don't want to go th Oh, I don't know about that. It's got flak shooting through the... Okay. Let's see, hold on. There. Let's try this. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> okay. This is a good place to hang out. This is yeah, why they replaced the Orion. It has all these blind spots where a fighter can just hang around. Like extreme regret. That's for sure. <laughs> what a liability. Like we covered every other part of this box, we just couldn't cover its ass. Yeah. Oh god, I hate this, staring at this. Unleash the fucking fury. Five more bomb salvos should do, just, just five more. Oh boy. The hull integrity of the Enceladus has passed the critical mark. Ow, someone's shooting Let's me. Let's take that ship down. Destroy your target. 
Bot. <laughs> that was great. That was nice. And away he goes. Oh, God. Die, fucker. I will avenge my fallen comrades. Oh boy. Come on. We can do this. <laughs> I'm just dumping. I'm just dumping everything I've got on this dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Now is not the time to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck you goddamn imps. I gotta get visual on this fucker because he's just gonna imp me into the ground. Can I stop being imp for five minutes? Get rid of these fuckers, please! Almighty in fuck heaven, fuck! Kill this thing! Get off of me! Good God Almighty in fuck heaven! Oh my god. I mean, think about it. You're just about to take down their good shit and their home. Oh my god, what all is going on here? Good god! Please! I beg of you. Give me a motherfucking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I am done with this shit. Holy shit, dude. Fuck off. Fuck off. The Enceladus is going down. A superb achievement, everyone. Holy fuck, dude. Everyone cover me right now. Fuck off, all of you. Jesus. 4% and I just cannot get fucking hornets off of me. Go the fuck Bro, away. Volume. Ah! God! Holy shit. That was infuriating. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Outstanding work, pilots. We not only complete our original objective of destroying the Cypress and the Pyrene, but we also took down the Enceladus, a key component of the resistance in the system, thereby securing the sector for our fleets. This was quite a commendable achievement, and the 228th now ranks among the top squadrons in the Alliance today. Oh, God. 
The incident with the civilian medical vessel was unfortunate, but during a civil war of this sort, we must learn to deal with radical extremists. In most situations, we would have returned fire of attack, but this is a war being fought with ideologies as much as weaponry, and firing back on the on the Chion would have only allowed the PCA to spin the event into anti-GTVA propaganda. We do not know who is in control of the ship at the moment, but it seems that the rebels were trying to take a shot at our ships rather than hurt other civilians on board. The 228th handled the situation well under the circumstances. Regrettably, the Kep Kepren did not survive this battle. We lament the loss of its crew. Something something Petrarch. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Enceladus, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Uh, I think you'll be able to fit in one more mission. You really think so, huh? The Saren struck at our forces once again at 0236 near Procyon 9, annihilating the GTC Lincius, the GVC Mycer... Oh my god. Why do you choose these names? My Mycerinus and the GVCV amulet, along with eight fighter wings in a matter of minutes. We will need to devise a plan to it's take... from the campaign. To take down the, the that one is my Serenus. I don't recognize that. Uh, is jeopardizing survival of our entire fleet. Uh, it's either in a mission or one of the command briefings. I forget. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Admiral Messerit says that he will brief the seconds crew at 1840 tomorrow on the details of our upcoming campaign. I've noticed that you're like the only person in the fretting community who's a stickler for like precise time so you can like actually you could go through this and actually document like a proper timeline for all the events in Procyon Insurgency. I'm most, honestly thankful for that. Mo most most of the most other campaigns is kind of nebulous the flow of time unless you read occasionally briefings will mention things happening in like a week or a couple days or something but it's kind of it's kind of uh it's kind of ambiguous uh <clears throat> We can rest for a few days, as the 228th has not been given any immediate assignment. When these missions were planned out, I would made like a calendar of how everything would pan out over the course of a month. I see. Uh, we can rest for a few days, as 228th has not been given any immediate assignment. However, as an elite squadron, we may be called into battle given only a moment's notice, and we must remain vigilant. Man, I can already tell I'm going to be obsessively trying to 100% these fucking missions. Elastic timelines are better. Uh. So I think there was a medal there that you missed because the Capron died. Yeah, well, it, oh, it's kind of out of my hands. Like I, I disabled, I disabled the thing, and then it was literally on top of the Capron. I don't know that with all of the shit swarming me, I would have had time to take out the beams, even if I knew where they were in advance. More like, more like I have to start with the beams before going for the nav. Uh, but I also wasted a lot of time on the engine subsystem too. That wasn't necessary. But considering that I took out the nav on the GTM ship and it took the fuck off, I was like, "Well, better not take any chances. Better get so the engine too." Uh, no, Paladin, because. One, I don't fucking remember the stock placement of beams on Orion because an Orion with beams is not like that prevalent to me in fucking Free Space 2 base. And two, every goddamn campaign I've played takes liberties with putting new turrets or turrets in different places on ships. It's kind of unreasonable to ask a person to be intimately familiar with the exact placement of turrets on every ship, especially when they change with every campaign you play. Ugh. Let's see, this is Admiral Messerud. As you all know, our forces were scattered in retreat a few hours after our entry into Procyon. Uh, and the last two days have been spent primarily in rallying our units together and establishing a foothold in the system. Yeah, I know. You know what happened when I finally narrowed it down? In case you didn't notice I was doing that at the end? That was the last 3% of the Keprin's health. <laughs> That's That was when I narrowed it down. <laughs> So basically the solution is, yeah, you just need to let it destroy your ship a little bit at a time and you'll narrow down all the beams. <laughs> Great. Uh, 
A few hours after entering the Procyon, the last two days have been spent primarily in rallying our units together and establishing a foothold in the system. It is too late for us to pull out of Procyon at this point as the battle has already begun in full force and the PCA has closed in behind us, sealing off the jump node. We must hold off the enemy until the 8th Fleet and the 12th Battle Group arrive to assist us. However, they are not expected to reach Procyon until January 15, so we have a hard fight ahead of us. This is a lot of stages. Holy shit. Are you sure I'm going to be able to do this in like 30 minutes? Uh, allied scientists have examined the scan data of the Saturn collected by our scout wings and have disclosed their findings. The ship appears to be a derivative of the original GTI Hades design. Yeah, no shit. And is structurally quite similar to that vessel. It is equipped with the latest technology and weaponry, bristling with over 60 laser turrets, missile launchers, flak projectors, and beam cannons. Jesus. The Saturn's four anti-warship beams, possibly based on a Shivan design, can fire longer and dish out more damage than any of our own, and its anti-fighter capabilities are second to none. She, uh, several layers of thick molybdenum armor surround the life compartments although the crew is only thought to number around 1200. Purpose of the crystalline formations lying the Saturn's outer hull is a mystery but in general our analysts consider the ship to be a remarkable work of engineering. Well that's great. Too bad it's shooting us dead. Uh, mission itself is somewhat short around the same length as the Aswan mission. I mean that took a couple of attempts too. Given its size and scale, it's evident that the Saturn must have been under construction for at least five years. It nearly defies belief that Dasmar was able to acquire data from the original Hades and assemble a warship of such proportions without arousing attention, but it suggests that he may know a lot more about certain events in history than we realize. Even our own knowledge of the Hades is very limited, and less is known about the GTI and its true nature than, than any other faction in Terran or Vasudan history. This connection to the GTI has raised several questions among our theorists, and some have raised the possibility that the PCA may have been silently operating many years before it was officially formed. A closer examination of historical records reveals some curious incidents in Dasmar's early life. He was once a pilot with Vasudan Tactical Command Special Operations Group, a branch of the PBN at the time, but his possible AWOL status during certain missions has drawn renewed attention. Furthermore, reliable witnesses have recently reported that Dasmar had privately met Captain Seb around 2347 for a series of talks, none of which went on official records. For those who are unaware, Captain Seb was one of the most notorious commanders of the Hammer of Light, chiefly known for his role in the Aldebaran religious massacres of 2343 and remained at large until a suicide during Operation Templar several years later. What the purpose of these meetings was is open to speculation, but may indicate that Taz that Dasmar has been plotting the PCA rebellion behind the scenes for decades. Man, what a committed fucker. We do not yet have the firepower to conduct large-scale assaults on enemy bases, so we will resort to hit-and-run tactics. More specifically, our strategists have found weak points in the Confederal fuel supply lines. The PCA Procyon fleet is... Oh, okay. Uh, the PCA Procyon fleet is powered by the... The deuterium-rich gas giants of Procyon 7 and 9, and we will need to gain control of these planets. Admiral Thorpe and I have decided to split up the firepower of our battle groups between these locations. The GTD Delphi will lead the 6th Fleet to the latter planet, while our, ah, while our battle group will set course for the former. With any luck, we will be able to fight off the enemy for another 9 days. That's a long time fighting. Another 9 days until the expected reinforcements arrive. Yeah, and that's out of the 11 days until reinforcements are expected. Uh -huh. Once we have negated the first legion of independence, the Saturn will be vulnerable to attack and will not stand a chance against the combined firepower of multiple GTVA destroyers and bomber squadrons. The campaign will be declared a success once we capture Supreme Admiral Dasmar, also known as SAD. On a final note, there have been a few reported defections to the enemy in the last two days. We do not expect this to hinder the progress of our campaign, but everyone is advised to be prepared for any development that may arise from it. Uh-oh. That's a smoking gun. That concludes my address, and I wish you all luck on your upcoming assignments. Not okay. quite. Never mind, it is nine days until reinforcements arrive. That's my bad. Brain math are wrong. Commander Lamarck here. These are the details of our next mission. While the bulk of our battle group heads for orbit around Procyon 7, command will launch some wings along the way to eliminate targets of opportunity marked out by intelligence. Small convoy of troop transports has recently been detected in this sector and may hinder the progress of our ground operations later on. Our assignment is to take down this convoy. Oh man, just transports? That means I can, like, fly real primary weapons. Excellent. Oh, fuck. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, 
Well, at least I'm not protecting things from the rocks. If anything, the rocks will the rocks will work in my favor. Too bad uh, you can't give the rocks orders. Yeah, I can order the rocks. Reports from the last sighting show that the convoy is made up of four Argo class personnel carriers. These will be our primary targets. The PCC Elimus is also guarding the convoy, and I suggest we take the ship down before going after the transports. Exact enemy force composition is unknown, but intelligence does not expect a hard fight. The convoy is currently passing through a section of the Procyon asteroid belt, and the radio interference caused by the rock movement should give us the advantage of surprise, at least momentarily. Good. The rocks will help me. <laughs> you wish. Uh. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. Because of the limited loadout, I... I'm going to fly Sekhmet for the extra armor and maneuverability. And I'm going to run Kaisers. Kaisers, 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 Kaisers. Kaisers and Trebs is what I'm going to do. That's, that is precisely what I'm going to do. All right. I can hear your energy bank screaming. That's okay. You know, you know why it doesn't matter? Because I only need to land a couple shots on a fighter to get them to actually fuck off. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, uh, Command. Hello. We have a critical situation. Oh, uh, that guy has a Mison. There is an active Gnosis device straight up ahead. What? That convoy is nowhere in sight. Command. Do you copy? I repeat. We have run into an uncharted Gnosis portal. Oh boy. Those Awax ships must be blocking our transmissions. They must be taken out at once. They're coming in after us. Alpha 3, destroy those radar jammers immediately. Radar jammers. We will distract the fighters away from you. Uh. This fucker? No, that's an installation. Hold on a sec. Hold on, what all we got going on here? Oh shit. Oh god, Mjolnir's too? Holy shit. What the fuck all is on this goddamn... Faustus, there we go. There we go. Sir, there is an unusual installation... No, AWAX. He said AWAX. ...inside one of the you. larger asteroids. You. No, it's not that. I think it's the stuff in your escort list. Negative. It looks like it's heavily... Oh defended. shit! Oh shit! Try to avoid contact with the enemy fortification... Oh fuck! Oh fuck! You want me we dead! Don't have the firepower to take them on. God damn it. You guys are supposed to be covering me, but you're not doing a great job. Fuck off. God damn it. Uh, that, affirmative, affirmative. That, that really needs to be fixed at some point. Hello, Mjolnir. Oh, God. And there goes the dish. You can hit it with a bomb. Oh, shit. Well, I fucked up. That's fine. I'm just gonna Kaiser this. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Just give me a shot. Thank you. Hello, friend. I'm coming for you. What are you doing? You're like firing in a spread. He's trying to lead, but spiral usually breaks that. Wow, you can take one of those? Holy shit! I'm impressed. Oh boy. Ah. God damn it. Just go away. Quit shooting me. Okay, you can take a couple of these, so I'm just gonna do this now.
that portion of the music is in the game, but it's not used by people. I think I did something to add it back in. Rip these ships have been neutralized. Command, are you reading this? Pilots, what's going on out there? We have not been able to reach you. We found an active Gnosis device under Shit. enemy control in the asteroid field. The PCA has fortified the surrounding area. A Gnosis portal. These God damn, this thing's got perfect tracking on me. Right. The news to what was that? Immediately. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, Stand I'm fucked. I think I'm gonna order. restart this here soon. Alpha, you now have a new objective. Eliminate any targets of opportunity, but stay alive. But uh, uh, that's the goal. On the other side of that portal. Really, we're going into a portal? Every time we go into a portal, bad things happen. Why are we doing this? Alpha, execute standard evasive maneuvers, but pick off any fighters or sentry guns that you can. We need to stick around for a few minutes. Alpha, we have God damn. the small cluster of cargo. Oh my god, I'm getting so tired of getting shot at. Oh god! God! god. Before the enemy sends him back up. Fuck off. Come here, you. Alright. Take this fucker out. And... Get all those. Alright. Where are these Alastors? Alastor, Alastor, Alastor. Actually here. First things first. I want you to be dead. I don't know if you can take a couple of these, but I'm not taking any chances, so I'm just gonna... Now what's shooting at me? Oh, God. Oh, wow. You have a uh, good range. Forgot about that part. All right. Also, looks like you got some cargo crates to deal with. Yeah, I got a lot of things to deal with. The PCA is sending in more fighters. Oh God! Alpha of course three. they are. Destroy that cargo right away. Cargo. We must get out of here. Shit. in every mission equipped with fucking M. Good god. Oh my god. And Morningstar. You fretters are the most annoying human beings on Earth. You know that? Wow. Holy shit. Okay. And they have added you. Wow. You're, you're a bad person, CP. <laughs> Jesus. Why do they all have Morningstar? Holy shit! Oh god! How terrible! Okay, I need, I need, oh my god, I need this. <laughs> As I just need. Holy crap! Fucking Emp pushed me back. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, those are in escort, so I'm not gonna worry about those. Uh. Da, da, da. Get those things need to die. Mjolnir's will be after that, and then I guess. What are they? Command, we have a critical situation here. There is an active Gnosis device straight up ahead. Mm. That convoy is nowhere in sight. Command, do you copy? I repeat. We have run into an Gross. uncharted Gnosis portal. 
Those AWACS ships must be blocking our transmissions. They must be taken out at once. Okay. They're coming in after us. Alpha 3, destroy those radar jammers immediately. Working they on will it. Distract the fighters away from you. Alright. Time to palm. Time to pump! Sir, there is an unusual installation that appears to be camouflaged inside one of the larger asteroids. Should we engage? Negative. It looks like it's heavily defended. Try to avoid contact with the enemy fortifications altogether. We don't have the firepower to take them on. God damn it! Ah! Oh shit, wow! I actually got murdered by that. That's embarrassing. God, even a fucking AWACS ship is just unleashing the fucking theory on me. I think some fighters are after you. I avoid contact with the enemy fortifications. Yeah, that didn't work. It didn't work at all. Mm. Is it that and that, I think? Let's see. Nope. Okay. I want to get to those ASAP. Command, we have a critical situation nope. here. Good God. There is an active Nasus device. The fuck is the name ahead. of the other goddamn thing? That convoy is nowhere in sight. The hell is that? Oh, okay, found it. I don't know why it's doing that. That has to be some kind of model bug. Command. What's that? Copy. I mean, they're right in pushing the Nazis. We have like run that. into an uncharted Nazis. I don't warning. have an escort list right Those now, pal. I'm trying to get to them be before the escort list. They must be taken out at once. They're coming in after us. Alpha three. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I don't have resupply. This is a bad. This you is bad. We now. will distract the fighters away from you. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I should probably save those, honestly. The, the AWACs are the escorts! Uh... Sir, there is an unusual installation that appears to be camouflaged inside one of the larger <laughs> asteroids. Should we engage? Negative. It looks like it's heavily defended. Try to avoid contact with the enemy fortifications altogether. We don't have the firepower to take them on. Oh god! God damn fuck! Fuck off! Fuck off of me. Alright, other one, other one, other one, other one. Actually, where are the, where are these things? These things that are gonna shoot at me, the Nerets or whatever. God damn it! One of those sentry guns. I forget if it's the Alaska or what. They're supposed to have neural network AI, according to the tech room. Supposed to have what now? What now? Neural network AI. Mm. Like AI based on chat you can see. Law. Now what? 
What? What? What? Who is shooting me? What? What do you want? Who are you? What do I have to do to get you to fuck off? The PCA has fortified the surrounding area. A Nasus portal. Oh god. These are unexpected developments, indeed. Relaying the news to Beta Aquili immediately. Stand by for further orders. Alpha, you now have a new objective. Eliminate any targets of opportunity, but god. stay alive. We working must find on it. out what lies on the other side of that portal. Reinforcements are okay. on their way. Affirmative, we will hold the area. Alpha, execute standard evasive maneuvers, but yes. take off any fighters or sentry guns that you can. We need to stick around for a few minutes. Uh, Alpha, we have waypoint the small cluster of cargo containers near the portal that seems to be weakly defended. Destroy them quickly. God damn it! Sends him Eating back through up. my fucking shields, really? Oh god. <sighs> okay, back to the back to the cargo. Weakly defended my ass. They've got fucking sentries around. That god damn it! And they're just penetrating my shields. Good God! Oh my God! Is there anywhere that's safe from these things fucking shooting me? Oh my God! God, the Faustus! Can I send someone else in to kill these things? Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't oh. want to get distracted by all the other stuff. I because you take too long to base I can't to get to the stuff I'm supposed to kill! Oh my god. Uh, it's surrounded by laser shit! Oh my god. Fucking... Go away. Oh my god. Is there like... Is there like a safe, like, trant, like... Path around? God! God! Flying full fucking engines in one direction. I eventually have to stop being attacked by something. There's always something shooting me. God! The PCA is sending in more fighters. Alpha three. You, you flew everywhere, so you made right everything away. mad at you. We must get out of here. But they don't move! That's the thing! I'm trying to get somewhere that's surrounded by static angry things! Oh god! I guess I'll just fly in here and die. I'll just fly in and die. I'm here now. And now I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, what Colt said, everywhere is mad at me! There is no such place as not mad at me! <laughs> 100,000 sentry guns, right? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Well, there I am. <laughs> I think this is a good place to break, because uh, clearly I'm going to have to pick apart this fucking mission and figure out the one place in the universe that doesn't have fucking sentry guns within 2,000 meters of me shooting at me. Yes, Firestorm 9001. Paladin, I did approach from the outside angle. Once you come inside from the outside angle, there's sentry guns. Ugh, god damn it. Alright, we're gonna break here for this week. <laughs> you can use the sniper cannon in this. In fact, I think that's the... That's that the might be the out. only way to do this, honestly, is with the sniper cannon. <laughs> like... I, I, as much as I, I like being able to defend myself, well, to be fair, I wasn't too bad with sniping things at close range, so I guess I could use that both as anti-fighter and as, uh, mm. but yeah, I'll give that a try next week. I'll try the sniper next week and just stay the fuck away from everything. That's probably what I'm going to attempt to do, but, uh. It's a bummer that Goober couldn't join us this week, but I appreciate you coming out, CP. Sorry to everyone who, uh, got thrown off by the time shift. It's going to be exact same time next week, so don't get confused. And those of you who do observe a later daylight savings, well, I guess you're just fucked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but uh, we'll do more Procyon Insurgency next week. Uh, I will 
try smashing my head against those other missions in the uh, tech room and see if I can uh, all gold medal them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try the sniper method next time on this. Uh, CP, thank you for joining me and uh, giving me some color commentary. Thank you everyone in the audience for keeping me company as always while I flounder about. And who the hell was shooting? What? There's still fighting going on. I'm dead. Y'all can leave. Anyway, uh, what the hell is man? Some missions seem like they just shut down after you die, but, you. <laughs> but some of them, some missions just keep on going with or without you. So long as you're sitting on the screen. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Y'all have a fantastic week. This is red mage. Joe signing off.